Chapter 1041 A Python to a Dragon Translator Born to be within a classroom in the Zhuangshan Dao sect, there was a strict-looking elder loudly reading off a scroll he was holding. There were tens of thousands of disciples sitting in front of the elder, all of them with solemn expressions as they seriously listened to his reading. In the past few days, whether it was the inner sect disciples or outer sect disciples, they had all been going to class. According to the Zhuangshan Dao sect's traditions, the disciples all had alternate lectures with over a hundred teachers. Those lectures were extremely diverse, and they contained information about martial tactics, formations, forging arts, runes, alchemy, divining the future, healing, etc. There were over a hundred all-encompassing topics. The most shocking thing was that there were even zither, chis, scholar, and painting cultivation methods, and there were even some cultivation professions they had never heard of, for example, singing, dancing, etc. They had never heard of cultivators doing such things for a living. During these days, they had been listening to the teachers presenting the arts that they were most proficient in. This was to allow the disciples to consider their own skills, interests, and aptitude so that they could decide which direction their future cultivation would take. It went without saying that the Zhuangshan Dao sect's foundation was absolutely shocking. As long as you thought of something, you could find a teacher specialized in it. And even if you couldn't think of it, you would have a teacher for it. As for the current elder, he was a veteran beast tamer. First he discussed some foundational knowledge, as well as introducing the pros and cons of beast tamers. And then he introduced some overlord level existences that were recorded in ancient history. Those were housepits that beast tamers would long to obtain even in their dreams. The tens of thousands of disciples were all listening with rapt attention. Only one person was absent-minded as his mind rapidly worked. Long Chen had long since grown tired of listening to this elder drone on and on. This rule of the Dao sect was extremely irritating. Even if you weren't a beast tamer and had no intention of choosing that profession, you had to listen to this class. The elder's voice went in through Long Chen's left ear and out through his right. The only thing he was thinking about was how to make money. Yesterday, Tang Wan'er had told him that in the Zhuangshan Dao sect, points were even harder to obtain than in the Eastern Wastelands 108th Monastery. Inner sect disciples only got a hundred points a month. Outer sect disciples only got ten furthermore. Five of those points could only be obtained through working and completing missions. If they failed their missions, the points would even be deducted. As for core disciples, they obtained the most points. Each month, they got ten thousand. Regretfully, that had nothing to do with Long Chen now, as he could only get the pay of an inner sect disciple. Nine thousand nine hundred points had flown away with the hack of his saber. Just as Long Chen was thinking about how to make money to support his family, the elder on the stage had finished discussing the overlord magical beasts that transcendent beast tamers had once managed to subdue. He began to tell an extremely badass story, and also began discussing a badass existence. In the North Underworld, there was a fish known as the Khan. When the Khan grew, the elder began describing a terrifying existence, one that only existed in legends. The disciples were all listening with interest when the elder suddenly shouted, You, what are you thinking about? The disciples were startled and followed the elder's gaze to see Long Chen staring at the window with a lifeless expression. It was unknown what he was thinking, but it seemed he wasn't listening at all. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, a maiden beside Long Chen blushed slightly and pushed Long Chen lightly. Ah, is class over? Long Chen was delighted, but he quickly realized that the teacher was glaring blades at him and he quickly shut his mouth. You, stand up, repeat what I just said, ordered the teacher. Long Chen helplessly stood up, grumbling inside, thickening his face, he said. In the North Underworld, there was a fish known as the Khan. When the Khan grew, when the Khan grew, Long Chen hadn't even been listening so he had no idea what he had said after this. Seeing everyone looking at him, he clenched his teeth and said, when the Khan grew, well, it didn't matter, because if it grew too big for the pot, it can still be grilled on a spit, a handful of pepper, a handful of sesame, cook it until the skin bursts, you get a bite, I get a bite, we can raise our cups and eat until the sun rises, once Long Chen was finished, the classroom was deathly silent, green veins were popping on the teacher's head, pointing at Long Chen, even his finger quivered, get out, I, Long Chen still wanted to quibble, scram, now his voice had become a roar, and Long Chen could only helplessly leave, disappearing from people's sights. Damn, so escaping the sea of bitterness is actually so simple. If I had known this earlier, why would I have to suffer? 
Once Long Chen had walked far away enough and knew the teacher couldn't see him, he stopped and stretched his waist, instantly feeling much more refreshed. Consecutively listening to lectures made him feel like he was going crazy. Being kicked out was a kind of blessing now. Boss, once Long Chen left the lecture region, he was greeted by a certain person after crossing a bamboo forest. That person immediately knelt on the ground and grabbed Long Chen's leg, sniveling and wailing. What the fuck? Who beat you like this? Raged Long Chen. This miserable person was precisely Guo Ran. Boss, you have to get justice for me. The Central Plains is cruel. I want to return to our village. Cried Guo Ran. Was it that idiot Xinian? Bring me over. I'll kill that bastard. Raged Long Chen. There was no way he could endure such open bullying. No. I was beaten by a group of women. Cried Guo Ran. Women? You offended Hua Shiyu. Long Chen was shocked. That woman truly was not to be trifled with. She was very likely the most terrifying existence amongst the five great heavenly geniuses. No. Guo Ran shook his head once more. Then who? Long Chen suddenly glared at Guo Ran and said. Brat. Don't tell me you only got beaten because you tried to take some liberties with them. Boss. I'm not that kind of person. Cried Guo Ran. Aggrieved. Fine. Then stop being so embarrassing here. Stand up and tell me what happened. If someone bullied you. Your boss will definitely get revenge for you. Long Chen pulled Guo Ran up. His current state was too ugly. Guo Ran cried. There were three waves of people that beat me. That's overboard. It's not even noon. But you were already beaten three times. Long Chen was enraged. Exactly. Exactly. It's completely overboard. If they weren't women, I'd have definitely attacked them. Said Guo Ran with rage as well. Long Chen really had been angry at the beginning. But now as he listened to Guo Ran. He felt like something was a bit off. This matter was not as simple as he had thought. What exactly happened? Start from the beginning, said Long Chen. Here's what happened. I didn't have class this morning, so I was just strolling through the public plaza. Then I saw a sharp-mouthed monkey man peddling a young lady with his divination skills. He said that as long as she gave him one point, he would give her a faded marriage talisman that would definitely let her find a companion she liked within a month. Don't you think that's just nonsense? What talisman has that effect? Furthermore, how could an outer sect disciple who only just joined the sect know anything about divination? He was clearly just tricking her. I was angry for her, and being so righteous, I couldn't just watch as she was tricked. So I went up to expose him, said Guo Ran with righteous indignation. That sounds off. You couldn't even beat an outer sect disciple, asked Long Chen. He wasn't the one to beat me. It was the young lady I saved, cried Guo Ran. What? How unreasonable. You should have let her be conned. Long Chen shook his head. Exactly. I told her. Don't get duped. He's tricking you. Someone as ugly as you won't find others who like you. It would be better for you to keep your points and work on increasing your power. I painstakingly tried to advise her. But she immediately turned hostile and beat me. Boss. Tell me. Don't you think she's unreasonable? Cried Guo Ran. And then what? Long Chen didn't have any opinion. Then I left. I wasn't going to beat her, because that's not a manly thing to do. So I stifled my anger and found a place to calmly meditate. But then I saw a woman mournfully walking across the river. I was scared witless. That river absorbs people's spiritual yuan, and you can't use magical arts in it, nor can you swim. She was clearly committing suicide. Suicide. Yes. I shouted at her from a distance, but she ignored me. In my panic, I quickly took off my pants and peed in the river. Once she saw that, she immediately ran to the shore, said Guo Ran. Brother, these smarts of yours really are shocking. That woman might not be afraid to die, but she would definitely be afraid of drowning from piss. Amazing. You saved a life by peeing, praised Long Chen. This life-saving measure truly was something only a few others would be able to come up with. What about it was amazing. As soon as she came up to the shore, she began to beat me, saying her precious hairpin fell in the river and she was looking for it said Guo Ran with an aggrieved expression. Kama Guo Ran sighed. Not only was I beaten twice, those two were too evil. They used their heavenly Deo energy so I was unable to heal in a short time. With my miserable state, I had no way to face others. So later, while I was squatting by the path, a group of red robe big sisters passed. They were so beautiful my heart almost burst. Seeing that I was injured, they asked me what happened, and when I explained, they praised me for my good intentions. Furthermore, they recognized me, saying that I was very famous in the inner sect, and a heroic figure at that. At that time, 
I was delighted and hastily got up to set things straight. I said that the hero is my boss, and I'm like a python to a dragon. And then, and then they immediately turned hostile and crazily attacked me. I would have been killed if I didn't run fast enough. Boss, don't you think those people have some mental illnesses? When I asked why they suddenly began to beat me, they didn't even say anything and just beat me harder. Long Chen carefully examined Guo Ran and sighed. Guo Ran. Ah, Guo Ran. I really admire you. A group of beautiful women who wear red robes? My guess is that they're from an ancient race. They are people with the bloodline of the heavenly scale blood python. The ancient races are proudest of their bloodline. And with their ancestor being a python and you insulting the python. Guo Ran. Well done. Truly well done. Ah? I didn't know. Only now did Guo Ran understand why those women had immediately turned hostile. That's why I've long since told you to stop being such a show off and study more. But you refused to listen. So not even a god can save you. Said Long Chen helplessly. Anyway. Bring me over to Kai and Duoduo. I want to handle a few things. Chapter 1042 Crouching Dragon Mountain Translator Born to be the number of new disciples in the Zhuanshan Dao sect numbered in the millions. However, the majority were not combat disciples. The inner sect trial Long Chen and the others had gone through was to become the main combat disciples. Their group was viewed as the most important group by the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Most of the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples could be split into combat disciples, support disciples, and inheritance disciples. There was no need to explain much about the combat disciples. They were the disciples that would form the core of the sect's battle strength. They were the elites of the sect as for the support disciples. They were the disciples that would help the combat disciples in battle. There were a great deal of these disciples. And they included healers, formation masters, illusion masters, etc. When they worked together with the combat disciples, they would be like tigers with wings. They were also viewed importantly by the sect however. Since there were so many of them, they needed constant adjustment and training so they could cooperate properly with the combat disciples. If their teamwork was off, it would result in casualties rather than increasing their power. Other than these two categories of disciples, there were also inheritance disciples. These disciples included alchemists, talisman scribes, forging masters, essentially disciples with special and ancient inheritances. These disciples were important pillars for the Zhuanshan Dao sect's economy. The amount the Zhuanshan Dao sect invested in them was definitely no less than what they put into the combat disciples. Teaching them their arts exhausted endless resources. Their failure rate at the beginning was frighteningly high. But once they gradually reached a certain level of mastery, they would bring in a shocking amount of profit to the Zhuanshan Dao sect. There were many of these disciples. And they were also cared for deeply by the sect however. Support disciples and inheritance disciples were not allowed to form their own factions. They simply learned from their teachers and cultivated. Only the combat disciples had the qualifications to form their own factions and recruit members. In the future, the Zhuanshan Dao sect would distribute rewards based on the individual faction's accomplishments and displays. Long Chen's faction was simply called the Dragonblood Legion. They had their personal territory which was a 300-mile mountain. This land belonged to the Dragonblood Legion and others could not enter, not even the law enforcement hall, to intersect disciples. This was a token of their grand status. The six great factions all had their own territories, and there was no better or worse one. They were essentially the same. Intersect disciples also had access to cultivation regions. These cultivation resources needed to be activated in order to be used, and the requirement for activating them was, the Zhuanshan Dao sect's hardest currency to obtain. Points. Using a cultivation region for a few hours exhausted a frightening number of points. If all the disciples of the Dragonblood Legion pooled their points, they would only be able to train for a day in a high-grade training room. That was why those cultivation regions couldn't be randomly entered. Your time inside would normally be measured by the hour, and you couldn't waste a single second of that time. Boss, are you not going to class? I thought you'd still be there for a few hours, said Guo Ran on the way. Do you think I'm as ignorant as you? The teacher saw how erudite I was and let me leave, said Long Chen without turning red or unnatural in the slightest. Guo Ran immediately felt a burst of admiration. That worshipful expression on his face projected his pride at having such a badass boss. It seemed he had no idea that the teacher had told Long Chen to scram, not to leave. They quickly arrived at the foot of the mountain. The spiritual key here was dense, and the trees were so huge they soared into the sky. There was a small stone path that led to the peak. According to the rules, 
The people who won this territory had the right to name it. Tang Wan'er had decided to call this place Crouching Dragon Mountain. This name had been approved by all the Dragonblood Warriors. They couldn't think of a better, more appropriate name. At the top of Crouching Dragon Mountain was a grand and beautiful pavilion. This was Long Chen's residence. From there, it was possible to overlook all of Crouching Dragon Mountain. When Long Chen arrived, he saw that the majority of the disciples were out taking classes. Only a portion remained. The ones present had mostly already finished all their classes. During these days, they had been thinking about what kinds of cultivation goals they should set for themselves, and what direction they should take their cultivation. Guo Ran had only gone out to mess around because he had finished his classes. Now he was returning with a swollen and bruised face. Long Chen had missed the wave of courses for only inner sect disciples, and thus could only listen with the outer sect disciples. Being kicked out was perfect, as he had important matters to handle. Boss, my investigation during these days revealed that everyone's points are very limited. Getting more points is difficult, especially since everyone is treating the points they have as treasures. They're busy investigating how to use their points in the best manner possible. For us to get more points will be very difficult, said Kayan Duoduo upon seeing Long Chen. During the past few days, Kayan Duoduo had constantly been investigating the use of points and everyone's thoughts about them. To get more was far too difficult. That's to be expected. People are probably assessing and weighing the value of their points. So no one is willing to use them yet in case they lose out. But in truth, this is the greatest opportunity for us. We're not going to buy points. We're going to sell points, said Long Chen. Sell. Kayan Duoduo couldn't believe his ears. Others were doing all they could to get more points. Some people even had the urge to snatch them away forcibly. But Long Chen wanted to sell them off? Yes. Sell. Have you investigated how people sell points? Asked Long Chen. Kayan Duoduo thought about it for a moment before saying, I have heard someone say that he was willing to offer 10,000 middle grade spirit stones for one point. But that's just what he said. There's no one actually selling them at that price. It's not like people are stupid. The spiritual key in the Zhuanshan Dao sect is so dense that middle grade spirit stones are basically useless. No one would buy them. That person was sneered at when he shouted that price and someone said he was willing to pay twice the price for his points, and that person declined, that's a good thing, in a bit, release word that we are releasing a limited number of points, as for the price, just make it 15,000 middle grade spirit stones for one point, furthermore, the points are only to be sold to outer sect disciples, and each disciple can only buy one, they are not permitted to buy it again, said Long Chen, I don't get it, said Kayan Duoduo, just do it, Release 20,000 points for now. Let's see the results, said Long Chen. Kayan Duoduo was lost, but he still did as Long Chen instructed. He went out in search of Wang Mang and the others. Wang Mang was an outer sect disciple from the senior generation. He had gone to the eastern wasteland to greet the new disciples, but as a result, the Dragonblood Legion had made him submit completely. Wang Mang was an old acquaintance, so it was best to go through him. Using his mouth to spread the news would have a better effect. Everyone had only just obtained their points and they weren't clear on the exact value of them. Long Chen wanted to take advantage of that to rake in a killing. In truth, Long Chen already had a certain idea about the value of a point. He had seen a catalog of what the points could be exchanged for in the sect. One point could be exchanged for one nine ring heavenly star sea merging pill. The heavenly star sea merging pill's main ingredient was the nine yang heavenly star grass. Its effect was even greater than the sea merging pill Long Chen had used before with the seven stamen sea hurt fruit. However, the nine yang heavenly star grass was extremely expensive. Depending on its age, it sold for between 800 to 1,500 middle grade spirit stones. Long Chen didn't have that medicinal ingredient, but he could buy one. Then he would have an unlimited supply of it with the primal chaos bead. One nine yang heavenly star grass plus over a hundred supplementary ingredients would transform to become 3,000 middle grade spirit stones through a successful refinement. However, the odds of a successful refinement were only 30%, and so the manufacturing cost was basically just under 10,000 middle grade spirit stones. It was no wonder that the person saying he would buy a point for 10,000 middle grade spirit stones was cursed. He must have thought others were idiots. The investment to refine the pill three times was essentially 10,000 middle grade spirit stones. And ordinary alchemists wouldn't necessarily be able to refine a nine ring pill no matter how hard they tried. Even if the top masters of the Zhuanshan Dao sect came out, 
a nine ring pill would still be a very high level existence to them. That was why Long Chen estimated one point to be worth around 15 to 18,000 middle grade spirit stones. As for why he first released a limited 20,000 points into the market, it was bait. The first thing to do was to get the atmosphere ready. Then once the fish came, he would make the real killing. It had already been quite some time since he had arrived at the Zhuanchen Dao sect according to their agreement. Zhen Wenlong should be sending him a message in the next few days after he had stabilized himself in the central plains. At that time, he would have plenty of middle grade spirit stones to buy things from him. He would make a great deal of profit by doing things like this. These disciples middle grade spirit stones had essentially become trash now that they had come to the Zhuanchen Dao sect the spirit stones were useless to the disciples. And rather than letting the Zhuanchen Dao sect benefit from people throwing them away, they could be used to help Long Chen. Long Chen felt a great deal of pressure. His family had grown much, much larger. These new disciples had no selfish motives, as was proven when they had handed all their points to Tang Wan Er. Perhaps only by going through blood and fire could people see the true meaning of cultivation instead of being blinded by greed. Originally, Long Chen hadn't been thinking of accepting new people. He had just wanted to let the original members of the Dragonblood Legion to dominate the world. But now his plans were forced to change. That battle had completely changed his original thinking. These disciples had ordinary talent, just like the original Dragonblood warriors. But Long Chen was sure that as long as he had money, he could transform them into a powerful army, and this army would be completely loyal and devoted to him. At the same time, Long Chen felt his own power was lacking. His fight against Xinian had shown him that he still wasn't strong enough. He had to work hard on upgrading himself as well as upgrading all the Dragonblood warriors. He couldn't bother with that voice or how it called him the son of fate. If things were to continue as they were, he would be crushed like a dog. So first things first. Ah, I almost forgot about Xinian's Earth Flame Beast. Let's see if I can subdue it and have it refine pills for me. Long Chen's eyes suddenly brightened. He could refine the Heavenly Star Sea Merging Pill, but he didn't have the time. If he could subdue another Earth Flame and have it refine pills along with Huo Long, wouldn't that be amazing? Thinking of that, Long Chen felt a burst of anticipation and joy. He hastily looked inside the primal chaos space, but when he saw the situation inside, he couldn't help but become dumbfounded. Chapter 1043 Alchemy Pavilion Translator Born to be where is the earth flame? Long Chen only saw Lai Long and Huo Long in the primal chaos space. The flame leopard was nowhere to be seen. Huo Long let out a roar, and a foot-long flame dragon flew out and intimately coiled around Long Chen's arm. It rubbed against him like a child sucking up. You, you ate it. Looking at Huo Long's guilty actions, Long Chen became speechless. He suddenly felt like he had done something foolish. If you had a cat watch over a fish, the results would be obvious to anyone. Fine, if you ate it, you ate it. I won't blame you. Seeing the flame dragon continuously rubbing against his arm like it was afraid he would curse it, Long Chen couldn't help but smile bitterly. Hearing that, Huo Long let out an excited roar. Its body suddenly lit up, and a powerful aura rose from it. What the fuck? You were conning me, shouted Long Chen. Huo Long had really only swallowed the earth flame beast into its stomach. It hadn't killed it. But once Long Chen said that he didn't blame it, it immediately devoured the earth flame. Those fierce fluctuations coming from it were the result of it merging with the flame leopard. Long Chen didn't know whether to laugh or cry. This little fellow was too evil. If he had instead become furious upon hearing that it had devoured it, it would have handed over the flame leopard. But since he didn't blame it, it immediately devoured the flame leopard. He was speechless. Fine, fine, go ahead, but I don't have time for you to descend into slumber. You'll have to spend a longer amount of time digesting it this time. I need you to do work for me, said Long Chen. Since the flame leopard had already been devoured, the work he had been planning for it would have to be taken up by Huo Long. Eating things always came with a price. However, there was still some time. So Long Chen had Huo Long first devour a bit of its new energy and get accustomed to its power. After all, Huo Long had now devoured two new earth flames. The previous earth flame hadn't been fully digested yet, and now Huo Long had devoured an even stronger earth flame. To completely digest all that energy would take a long time, and if it didn't descend into slumber, it wouldn't be able to focus 100% on refining that energy, which would prolong the digestion time even more. Right now, it was too late to complain, so there was no point in being petty. But Long Chen was comforted to see that the little fellow's intelligence was so high. 
It actually knew how to play such a trick on him. That was a good thing. The higher its intelligence, the more it could help him. Furthermore, Huo Long would only get stronger after refining the two Earth Flames essences. After settling this matter, Long Chen checked the time and his expression drastically changed. He had almost messed up. He said a hurried goodbye to Guo Ran and rushed off the mountain into a large palace at the front courtyard of the Zhuanshan Dao sect. The main hall was already completely full of sitting disciples. However, the teacher hadn't arrived yet, which allowed Long Chen to relax. This was his afternoon class and an important one to Long Chen, as it was one discussing the principles of the Pil Dao. With his Pil God memories, these principles were useless, nothing more than child's play to him, but his real goal was the alchemy pavilion. He needed the alchemy pavilion to provide him with resources. With that, he would be able to quickly strengthen the dragon blood legion. Due to Huo Long's matter, Long Chen was almost late. This was the final class on the Pil Dao, and if he missed it, he wouldn't have a chance to become a disciple of the alchemy pavilion. Within the Zhuanshan Dao sect, inner sect disciples had great authority and could freely join professions they enjoyed or were skilled in to do some side work. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, over here. There's space here. As soon as Long Chen arrived, a few women beckoned to him. Long Chen's battle with Xinian had deeply shaken everyone. Amongst the new disciples, there was no one who didn't recognize him. The fact that Long Chen had fought so bravely to get revenge for his fellow disciples had touched many people's hearts. Long Chen's wild and domineering aura felt especially fresh and dangerous to women in the springtime of their youth. Long Chen awkwardly smiled and said, Thank you, but I'm fine here. My brothers are already here. Amongst these disciples, there were three disciples of the Dragonblood Legion. They were new members, and seeing Long Chen arrive, they quickly made space for him. Those women were a bit disappointed, but his polite refusal didn't draw any anger. Instead, they felt even more admiration. A true hero should be gentle and refined normally, and should only become a devil god once they encountered powerful enemies. His conduct was the complete opposite of certain people. Those people normally brandished their claws at others to appear domineering, but when the true life and death battle came, they would piss themselves. Quiet. Just as a disturbance was caused by Long Chen's arrival, a person walked into the room and shouted. This was an elder wearing embroidered robes. His sleeves and collar had designs made of golden threads, which were round like buttons, but they were actually the designs of medicinal ingredients. The elder's forehead was a bit narrow, while his mouth was a bit big. However, his lips were very thin. Seeing him, Long Chen grumbled inside. Although he liked to spout nonsense that he could read faces, the truth was that he was very sensitive to a person's nature through the nine-star hegemon body art. He could tell a person's general character with practically just a glance. This elder's face embodied the words sharp, cold, harsh, and sour. This was the hardest kind of person to form relations with. Long Chen would rather have dealings with a magical beast than such a person. How many times have you been told that as soon as you enter the main hall, you are attending class and are not here to make a ruckus, reprimanded the elder. His gaze swept over everyone, but when he saw Long Chen, he paused slightly. Long Chen's heart dropped. He sensed extremely obvious hostility. What was going on? He had no enmity with him. Reporting to teacher, it was Long Chen's late arrival that caused the disturbance. It has nothing to do with us. A disciple with a pockmarked face stood and reported. The disciples beside Long Chen were all infuriated. This tattletale was intentionally framing Long Chen. This teacher was famed for his strictness, and this person was intentionally trying to humiliate Long Chen. The pockmarked disciple glanced at Long Chen deliberately before sitting back down. He came from the flame gate. In other words, he was one of Xinian's subordinates. The Dragonblood Legion and the flame gate were like water and fire now so he naturally wouldn't mind taking this opportunity to throw a stone at Long Chen. Is that true? Long Chen, demanded the teacher, reporting to teacher. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen wasn't late. What happened was a woman stood up to Long Chen's defense. Long Chen truly hadn't been late. He had managed to get in at the last second. Shut up. Who let you randomly open your mouth in the classroom? If it happens again, I'll kick you out. My alchemy pavilion doesn't need disciples that don't understand the rules shouted the teacher. The female disciple's eyes reddened. She sat down, not daring to make another sound. I didn't arrive late. The truth is Long Chen shook his head. Shameful. Did your family elders never teach you to stand when speaking to teachers? shouted the elder. Long Chen was enraged. 
His greatest taboo was when people mentioned his family elders, as his only family elders were his father and mother. He forcibly suppressed his rage and slowly stood. I didn't arrive late. I got here just in time. In my alchemy classes, I stress that only arriving a quarter hour earlier counts as being on time. You arrived late, but you're still quibbling. Your family's upbringing really was lacking. For you to sneak your way into the Zuanshan Dao sect is regretful for the sect, sneered the teacher. I was injured, so I wasn't able to attend the previous classes. And so Long Chen took a deep breath and once more suppressed his fury. The alchemy pavilion was important to him. He had to get in, or it would greatly affect the cultivation speed of the Dragonblood Legion. Don't try and find excuses. I only care about the results. And right now, what I see is a coward trying to find excuses and trying to shirk his responsibility. It's no wonder you were stripped of your core disciple spot just a few hours after obtaining it. The fact that a person with no sense of discipline or responsibility could become an inner sect disciple is a humiliation to the Zuanshan Dao sect if you have any sense of shame. You'll leave now. I will not permit such an undisciplined person to attend my class, said the teacher as he walked right in front of Long Chen. Long Chen unconsciously clenched his fists so hard that they creaked. He was sure this teacher was intentionally making things hard on him. He saw a pleased expression in the teacher's eyes. This was clearly a trap. He was intentionally insulting him and kicking him out. Boss, let's go. We're not attending this garbage class. The Dragonblood Legion's new warriors stood up. Even they could see that this teacher was intentionally insulting Long Chen. It was completely overboard. For anyone to humiliate Long Chen, who was like a god to them, was completely unacceptable. Not even the Zhuanshan Dao sect's famed Alchemy Pavilion's teacher was an exception. Calling his class garbage was already expressing their rage. Although the Alchemy Pavilion was a sacred place, compared to the position Long Chen had in their hearts, there was no comparison. Undisciplined brats, all of you can scram roared the teacher. Fuck the hell off. Long Chen finally couldn't bear it any longer, and in front of everyone's stunned gazes, his fist landed right in the middle of that teacher's cold face. Chapter 1044 Human Meat Shield Translator Born to be Bang Long Chen's fist landed squarely on the teacher's face. The teacher had never dreamed that Long Chen would dare to strike him. As a result, his entire face caved in front this punch. He let out a miserable scream and flew back. He crashed against the wall and then rebounded, and before he could do anything, Long Chen had grabbed him. He raised his hand. Pow, 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 pow. In the blink of an eye, 36 slaps struck his face. The teacher's face immediately swelled like a pig. Brood, you dare. Only now did the teacher react. Flames erupted out of his body. As a result, Long Chen sent a punch to his abdomen. The teacher let out a pained groan and curled up like a shrimp. This punch had been extremely vicious. It had almost crippled his danshan, but even though Long Chen hadn't crippled him, he had heavily injured his danshan, making him incapable of circulating spiritual yuan for a short time. Looking at the teacher curled up on the ground, all the disciples were shocked. The teachers were all king-level experts. For Long Chen to dare to strike one, did he not want his life? Long Chen icily stared at the pained teacher, furious killing intent in his eyes. This bastard was intentionally targeting him making sure he couldn't join the alchemy pavilion. At the beginning, Long Chen had been forced to endure, but after giving him an inch, he wanted a mile. He refused to allow Long Chen to join the alchemy pavilion. Although he didn't know for sure what his reasoning was, he knew that with this teacher present, there was no way for him to join the alchemy pavilion. Using his position, it will be all too easy to kick him out. So rather than enduring, it was better to vent his anger. At this moment, a figure tried to rush out. That person was the one who had tattled on him. You want to go report this? Get back here. Long Chen disappeared. When he reappeared, he was in front of that disciple. That disciple was appalled. Seeing Long Chen blocking him, his soul almost fled out of terror. He hastily turned around, but he was grabbed by Long Chen. He was thrown into a wall and smushed like a frog before collapsing on the ground. His body was completely deformed, with all his bones shattered. Loose-tongued ghost. Let me help you out. Long Chen raised him and crushed his jaw with one blow, and then grabbing his tongue, he pulled. Ah, the one screaming with a few female disciples, because that disciple couldn't make a sound. His entire tongue was ripped out my Long Chen, and it was an incredibly bloody sight. At this time, the teacher slowly crawled up. Long Chen suddenly threw the disciple in his hand at him. Both of them tumbled back and struck the wall. The disciple fainted. Long Chen, 
you the teacher had only just opened his mouth when he was sent flying by a kick. He smashed into another wall, appearing extremely miserable. Damn old ghost. As expected, you knew my name but were just acting like you didn't. Trash like you can become a teacher? Speak. What were you paid to make things hard on me? Just talking about it made Long Chen enraged, and he once more slapped the teacher in the face. The sound of the slapping echoed throughout the palace. Everyone was pale with fright. This was too crazy. Was Long Chen really so powerful that he was a match for kings? The truth was that the only reason Long Chen could beat this elder like beating a child was because he understood alchemists far too well. Alchemists possessed weak bodies, and without activating their pill flame to protect their bodies, their combat power was terrible. As for this teacher, he was clearly used to living like a prince and had no battle experience. If he really wanted to, he could instantly kill him. This was the difference between inheritance and fighting experts. He possessed an expert's cultivation base and foundation, but his combat power was essentially zero. Such people never entered the battlefield. Courting death. Brood. You people's eyes almost popped out as Long Chen broke the teacher's arms and legs, causing him to spasm. When it came to which parts of the human body could bring about the most pain, no one had more knowledge than Long Chen. He icily said, Speak. Who told you to make things hard on me? You the teacher's body quivered with hatred and rancor. Your answer was beside the point. Long Chen stamped his foot down several times, eliciting pain screams. Who told you to do this? It's fine if you don't say. I have many ways to make a person tell the truth, and I can try them one by one. If 30 of them fail, I'll admit you're a real man, and I'll cut off my own head as an apology. So should we start, said Long Chen with a sincere smile. I'll speak. It was the law enforcement hall, cried the teacher. His face was scrumpled into a deformed state from the pain. He wasn't a fighting expert, so he had never experienced this kind of torment. His will quickly crumbled, and he begged for mercy. How brazen Long Chen. Suddenly, two figures appeared in the palace. Coincidentally, these two were people Long Chen recognized. They were the two law enforcement elders who had appeared when Long Chen had viciously quelled the disciples who had failed and decided to charge up the Zhuanchen staircase. One of them was the one he had several interactions with, Lu Minghan. He was the one shouting, I've always been brazen, or how could I have cut off your head, sneered Long Chen. Long Chen was now fully clear on this matter. The teacher's words had confirmed his initial suspicions that this matter had the law enforcement hall behind it. Startled cries rang out. What kind of monster? Not only did they personally witness him crushing a teacher like he was a dog, now it seemed he had truly cut off the head of a king. Lu Minghan's face was dark with anger. That was the greatest humiliation of his life, and Long Chen had once more ripped off his scab. Brazen Long Chen, you've caused chaos in a peaceful class and beat up a teacher. Your crimes are unforgivable, and if you don't kneel immediately, don't blame my law enforcement hall for being merciless and executing you, shouted Lu Minghan. He and the other king attacked at the same time, their chains whistling towards Long Chen. Two kings attacked at the same time. Their chains completely blocked any paths of retreat for Long Chen, and the great power behind them caused space to rumble. How were they trying to subdue Long Chen? They were clearly trying to kill him. Idiot. You were helpless to do anything to me in the eastern wasteland, and you're still helpless to do anything to me now. Let me show you my peerless skill, the living replacement human shield. Long Chen kicked the half-dead teacher into his waiting hand. Just like that he raised him towards the chains. Lu Minghan and his fellow king immediately felt their hair stand on end, and they hastily retracted their chains. The chain stopped just half an inch from the teacher's face, but the astral winds following them almost killed him. He coughed up bloody that contained his broken innards. Long Chen, you're courting death. Lu Minghan roared furiously, his face slightly pale. Fiercely attacking and then fiercely pulling back power was the greatest taboo for cultivators. It was equivalent to attacking oneself. Both of them almost coughed up blood. Long Chen waved his human shield and sneered, with two huge pieces of shit here, why would I need to find more shit, since the situation had already reached this point, then he had to blow up this matter until it was huge, otherwise, he would end up losing, Long Chen, release the teacher, otherwise, we'll kill you right now, shouted the other king, do you think I'd believe you, you want to kill me anyways, so why would I be so stupid as to put down my protective talisman, sneered Long Chen. Don't be obstinate. Release the teacher. That's the only way to lighten your sentence, allowing you to keep your life, shouted Lu Minghan. Fuck off. Do you think I'm a child? If you want to attack, then attack. 
Let's see if I'm afraid of you, sneered Long Chen. Just before this, Long Chen had stealthily signaled to the Dragonblood Legion's disciples to leave and announce this matter outside. There had been a few disciples who had begun to run out as the two law enforcement elders had come as they had been worried about being implicated. The news would definitely rapidly spread. Of course, if someone was intentionally spreading it, it would spread even faster. Lu Minghan's expression was cold. He cast a glance at his fellow king, but that person shook his head. If Lu Minghan did go all out to kill Long Chen, he was confident he could kill him in just a few breaths. The higher-ups wouldn't be able to blame them, as Long Chen had refused to go peacefully. Long Chen was holding a hostage, and so they had no choice but to do everything they could to suppress him. But the other king didn't agree. If Long Chen died, it wouldn't be important. The main problem was that Long Chen would definitely drag down the teacher as well before dying, and then it wouldn't be so easy to quibble. The two of them were deadlocked for a while. Long Chen was holding a human meat shield, icily staring at the two of them. The other disciples all retreated out of the palace, leaving behind just them. Arrogant brat, you dare to use brute strength to resist your capture? Do you think the Zhuanshan Dao sect is your home? Suddenly, a new figure appeared in the palace. Seeing that figure, Long Chen's expression changed as he realized he was unable to move. Chapter 1045 Suppressing Through Power Translator Born to be Long Chen hadn't expected the law enforcement hall master to personally come. As soon as he arrived, Long Chen felt all his hair stand on end. It felt like a wild beast had set its gaze on him, and he found that he suddenly couldn't move. In front of the law enforcement hall master, Long Chen felt himself to be an ant looking at a dragon. He felt himself to be incredibly minuscule, as if the law enforcement hall master could kill him with just a thought. Sweat trickled down his back. That wasn't something Long Chen could control. Right now, he felt like he couldn't even form an urge to resist. The law enforcement hall master took a single step forward, and Long Chen felt the space around him tighten. It was like a mountain was crushing him. The law enforcement hall master took three more steps forward, and with each step, Long Chen felt the pressure on him increase, as if mountain after mountain was crashing on top of him. When he took his seventh step, Long Chen finally coughed up a mouthful of blood. When he took his eighth step, a crackling sound rang throughout Long Chen's body. His bones were unable to bear it, and faint cracks covered them. Long Chen's kneecaps were under the most pressure. His bones were starting to bend. Long Chen icily glared at the law enforcement hall master. He knew that he was intentionally humiliating him, trying to force him to kneel for mercy. But Long Chen went all out to resist. He refused to bend his knees. Endless fury ignited his killing intent. That was his most primal killing intent. This killing intent had been buried because of Meng Qi's words. But now, it was once more starting to grow. The law enforcement hall master coldly took another step forward. But when he saw a sharp light in Long Chen's eyes, he suddenly felt an indescribable sense of unease. However, he didn't hesitate. On this ninth step, Long Chen felt like he was under the weight of a hundred thousand mountains. He felt like his body was about to explode. Luo Fan, you're getting worse and worse is being so heavy-handed against a child suited to your status. Suddenly, a slightly mocking voice rang out, and another elder appeared by Long Chen's side. That was the elder hall master, Liu Kang. As soon as he appeared in front of Long Chen, the mountain-like pressure vanished. Long Chen almost collapsed on the ground when he felt his body lighten. Liu Kang placed a hand on Long Chen's body, and gentle energy spread within him. Long Chen felt all his bones instantly heal, and all his injuries were fixed. The elder hall master was a wood cultivator? Long Chen was startled. There was no other way to explain such terrifying healing abilities. You're the one getting worse. If I didn't do this, would you appear? Said the law enforcement hall master Luo Fan lightly. Long Chen was enraged. So he had done this to force Liu Kang to appear? That was definitely bullying. This was a naked disregard. Long Chen nodded. He would remember this. I've appeared. So let's continue. Said Liu Kang. Long Chen disturbed the classroom and beat up a teacher. That is a grave offense to the Dao sect. Do you have any opinion if I want to bring him away right now? Said the law enforcement hall master with a smile. That smile was the smile of a victor overlooking his defeated opponent. In all their previous contests, the law enforcement hall had been at a disadvantage. Now, Long Chen had committed a grave mistake and was caught. The law enforcement hall had succeeded in winning this round. Liu Kang shook his head. Why bother? just to force me to appear. You didn't hesitate to ignore a disciple's dignity? Don't you think that's a bit too far? 
don't be such a hypocrite. Those who break the rules don't have the qualifications to maintain their dignity. That's their punishment. Liu Kang, since you've come, I've reached my goal. I will be bringing Long Chen away. Luo Fan smiled and walked toward Long Chen. Sorry, but I can't hand Long Chen to you, said Liu Kang. What do you think you're doing? demanded Luo Fan coldly. I suspect there's something fishy about this matter, said Liu Kang. Luo Fan's expression sank. Are you saying I framed Long Chen? If you just opened your eyes, you would be able to see what happened. Sometimes eyes aren't able to see the truth. I need to investigate this matter to its roots. If Long Chen did commit an offense, I definitely won't protect him. But if he is faultless, I will definitely not allow anyone to abuse their public position to bully my disciples, said Liu Kang. You really want to go against me like this, raged Luo Fan. Isn't that what you wanted? I will report this matter to the Zhuanshan Tower Supervising Department tomorrow. They are the most impartial group in the Zhuanshan Dao sect, and they have the power to go through people's memories. I trust they'll be able to give us the most just verdict, said Liu Kang. Pow, old bastard, what are you winking for? Long Chen suddenly raised the teacher in his hand and slapped him. Long Chen had seen him casting a special look at the Luo Fan. Brute, you really must want to die. Luo Fan's expression sank. If an old bastard like you hasn't died, why would a young fellow like me die? Sneered Long Chen. In any case, he had already decided to hug the leg of the Elder Hall. Thus, he might as well be straightforward and go right up against the Law Enforcement Hall. Long Chen wasn't worried about cursing the Law Enforcement Hall Master. He could at least vent a bit of fury and treat it as redeeming some interest. Luo Fan, let's leave this to the Zhuanshan Tower Supervising Department tomorrow. Long Chen, release him. With me present, no one is capable of injuring you, said Liu Kang. Long Chen hesitated and looked at the sharp-faced teacher in his hand. Seeing the rancor in his eyes, Long Chen slapped him twice more before tossing him to Luo Fan. Luo Fan caught him, but the teacher's bones had all been shattered by Long Chen, and there was no way for him to stand. Luo Fan didn't possess Liu Kang's healing abilities, so he handed him to Lu Minghan with orders to heal his wounds. Liu Kang was leading Long Chen to leave when Luo Fan suddenly blocked their path. Liu Kang icily asked, What? Today, I must bring Long Chen away, declared Luo Fan. You can try it. Liu Kang narrowed his eyes. After being old opponents for so long, he knew what Luo Fan was thinking. You want to fight? Good, good. Then I'll be the referee. Should I open the martial stage for you right now? Suddenly, another figure appeared in the palace. Zuan Master. Liu Kang and Luo Fan were both shocked and hastily bowed. They hadn't thought that this matter would disturb the Zuan Master. What happened here? Asked the Zuan Master. This is what happened. Long Chen directly went through what had happened. He didn't exaggerate anything. All he said was the truth. Luo Fan, I seem to recall that this teacher's name is Luo Kibo. He is related to you. Asked the Zuan Master. I, we have a distant family relationship. But, Luo Fan began to sweat. There's no need to explain. I'll present you with two options. One is to go to the Zhuanshan Tower Supervising Department to investigate this matter clearly and make a verdict. That will require quite a bit of time. The other option is to punish Long Chen by stripping him of his inner sect disciple position and demoting him to an outer sect disciple, said the Zhuan Master. Then wouldn't I have lost out? Long Chen was against the second option. Little fellow, you have no qualifications to complain. Even if Luo Kibo was targeting you. You could have registered a complaint and gone through the regular channels. If you had received unjust treatment, the Dao sect would definitely write it for you. However, you didn't go through the regular channels, and instead, you directly disturbed a class and beat a teacher. You chose the most brutish way of handling this, even if you were in the right. After what you did, you're no longer in the right. So when you do things, you should carefully consider your options and not act rashly. Well, that's all I have to say. You can choose one of these options, said the Zuan Master. Disciple will listen to the Zuan Master's orders. We can choose the second option and not trouble the supervising department, said Luo Fan. He had no choice but to choose the second option because Luo Kibo was truly related to him. He hadn't expected this matter to disturb the Zuan Master. Now it wasn't so easy to handle. Although he hadn't ordered Luo Kibo to do anything, he had told all his relatives to not give Long Chen an easy time. His guess was that Luo Kibo had been trying to help him, but it had resulted in this current situation Novaloon.com Long Chen. What do you say? The Zuan master looked toward Long Chen. For some unknown reason, 
he had an urge to laugh upon looking at him. For a disciple to beat up a teacher during class was something that had never happened in the Zhuangshan Dao sect's history. Long Chen was truly a marvel. It was no wonder the patriarch had given him a simple evaluation. Unreliable. I still feel like I'm losing out. After all, if you look at the consequences, you should first look at the causes. Among the two, the factors that caused the consequences should definitely bear the most blame. At the very least, 80%. If you want to punish me to maintain the dignity of the Zhuangshan Dao sect, then I can accept a compromise. However, you have to guarantee that I keep the same privileges and can freely enter the inner sect, said Long Chen. Long Chen knew that there was no way to avoid punishment for beating up a teacher, but outer sect disciples were not allowed to enter the inner sect, and that would mean he would be isolated from the Dragonblood Legion. That was unacceptable. Are you haggling? The Zhuan Master's expression sank. Then how about we go to the supervising department and go through their procedure? I, Long Chen, always act openly and candidly. I'm not afraid of an investigation, said Long Chen. The Zuan master was speechless. Long Chen was truly crafty, and he refused to lose out because of this. Luo Fan, what do you say? The Zuan master directed the question to the law enforcement hall master. Luo Fan hastily said, I'll follow whatever your orders are. However, Disciple feels that Long Chen's conditions are acceptable. After all, he is the leader of his faction, and separating them is unreasonable. Seeing that Luo Fan would actually thicken his face and plead leniency for Long Chen, the Zuan master sighed inside. Long Chen had slyly taken advantage of Luo Fan's weakness, forcing him to submit. But how was such a sly and crafty fellow capable of doing such a foolish thing? It was incomprehensible. Since Luo Fan wasn't against it, the Zuan master disappeared from their sight. As soon as he left, Luo Fan's expression turned icy. Let me say it again. Don't fall into my hands, he said before leaving. Chapter 1046 Terence Translator Born to be the only ones left in the palace were Long Chen and the elder hall master, Liu Kang. Liu Kang just looked at Long Chen without saying anything, making Long Chen feel awkward. He didn't know what to say. This wasn't my fault. In the end, Long Chen shrugged and broke this awkward atmosphere. I know. Liu Kang nodded. Of course he knew. As his opponent of many years, he was profoundly aware of the law enforcement hall master's methods. I'm curious. If you had just used your brain slightly, you would have been able to resolve this problem in a more effective and self-protecting manner. So why did you choose this method? Asked Liu Kang curiously. The main thing is that it would be too troublesome. I don't have the time. Said Long Chen helplessly. How did he have the time necessary to play this stupid game with this pack of idiots? Being direct was much more effective. Many thanks for helping, Elder Hall Master. Long Chen bowed toward him. In any case, Liu Kang had come out to help him. There's no need to thank me. Those under the jurisdiction of my Elder Hall are my disciples. As long as you stand within reason, I will always stand by your side, said Liu Kang. Long Chen knew that this was a warning. This time, the law enforcement hall had shed all pretenses of cordiality, making Long Chen a crucial target. As long as Long Chen didn't go too far, the elder hall would be able to protect him. However, if he did go too far, he would leave an opening for the law enforcement hall, and then it would be troublesome. This was a game of rules. As long as he acted within the rules, he would be safe. But if he went beyond, it would be dangerous. Liu Kang felt like Long Chen's guts were too big. Disciple understands. Next time, I will definitely take note, said Long Chen, knowing that Liu Kang was saying this for his own good. His meaning was obvious. He was a chiss piece being used in the competition between the Elder Hall and the Law Enforcement Hall. Liu Kang's words just now were a kind of promise, allowing Long Chen to be at ease. Other than that, don't look down on the Zuan Master. His intelligence is not something you can imagine, said Liu Kang. Long Chen was startled. In truth, Although he felt respect for the Zuan master's cultivation base, he did scoff a bit at his attitude toward managing the Zuanshan Dao sect but now that Liu Kang was intentionally bringing this up, it seemed he had clearly seen through his thoughts. Disciple understands. Long Chen nodded. Now he felt that he was still too inexperienced. You can keep your inner sect disciple plate so you can enter the inner sect but starting today, you'll have to wear outer sect disciples robes. Liu Kang left his final words being to take care of how far Long Chen went. When Long Chen left the palace, he saw a sea of people outside. Countless disciples had surrounded the palace. Boss, you're finally out. All the dragonblood warriors rushed over, seeing that he was safe and sound. 
they relaxed. The other disciples, especially the ones who had personally seen Long Chen beat up a teacher, found this inconceivable. After beating a teacher, this was all that happened? Sorry, but senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you are now an outer sect disciple and must complete the missions given by the outer sect. At this time, a group of disciples walked over, a new set of robes in their hands. What? That's unacceptable. They can't demote our boss to an outer sect disciple, raged the Dragonblood warriors. Being demoted to the outer sect is already kind of the Deo sect such trash should be directly expelled pfft. A disciple had been in the midst of sneering when a lightning arrow pierced his chest, forming a large hole. He was almost directly killed, causing everyone to jump. Keep farting. Long Chen icily stared at that person. You're the most useless trash. Other than spouting crap, you don't have the slightest ability. If you keep going, I'll make it so you can't spout anything for the rest of your life. Everyone was startled. Long Chen was too violent, attacking without saying a word. But then thinking about how he even dared to beat a teacher, it seemed there really was nothing he didn't dare to do. All of you should go back and do what you need to do. Just do what you normally do. What I'm doing is just a formality, and I'll be back quickly. Long Chen changed into outer sect robes and handed his old robes to a dragonblood warrior. He had him bring a message back to everyone, telling them not to worry. Seeing Long Chen's figure disappearing from their sight, all the inner sect disciples were deeply shaken. This person was too coarse and wild. Long Chen followed the group of outer sect disciples to a small transportation formation. The Zhuangshan Dao sect was just that large. Outer sect disciples worked on the edges of the sect, so they needed to use transportation formations to get around. Otherwise, it would waste far too much time. Arriving at the outer regions, Long Chen clearly sensed the spiritual key grow sparser. Furthermore, he saw many more people, male and female, young and old. It was like he had arrived at an ordinary city. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you might be unaware of this, but the outer sect is completely different from the inner sect. We are not the true backbone of the sect in fact. We're like an army of hired workers. Outer sect disciples have to handle missions to get their cultivation resources. And the outer sect is practically not a sect, but a land of cities. The workers make up most of the numbers, and there are also descendants of generations of outer sect disciples and workers. So the outer sect is a very chaotic place, explained one of the disciples. You can marry and have children here. Long Chen was startled. Yes, the absolute majority of people here are from the four outer regions. Their talent is limited and they can't enter the inner sect in fact. Some are unable to even qualify as outer sect disciples, but they're also unwilling to leave, so they stay behind as workers. They pass their days by doing odd jobs or perhaps adventuring. As for the Deo sect, it gives them a few resources as a reward. In any case, they won't starve to death, but they won't eat enough to get full. I'm not afraid of senior apprentice brother Long Chen laughing at me, so I'll tell you that our ancestors were just workers, said one of them with a bitter smile. Long Chen shook his head. Those who work for their food are all worthy of respect. On the other hand, those people who reap without sowing, relying entirely on their reincarnation arts to live, but still look down on others, are the idiots that should be laughed at. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen is as amiable and easy, going as the stories say. You also know of me. Long Chen was surprised. In the entire Zhuangshan Dao sect, there are few people that don't know of you. You come from the wilds. You led a group of the least talented disciples through a life and death battle in the inner sect trial. You sacrificed your core disciple spot to save them. And you even risked your life to fight against a peak heavenly genius. In the outer sect, you are like a god. We, who are the descendants of people from the four outer regions, all view you as a model. You are our pride, said one of them emotionally. Long Chen hadn't expected to get such a welcome in the outer sect. These outer sect disciples worshipped him. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, the powers in the outer sect are complicated, so you have to be careful. What are you talking about? There are too many people in the outer sect, and the outer sect disciples only take up one in 10,000 of them. There's another portion that are workers, and another portion that are just commoners. Workers only get a hundred years of low rations. After a hundred years, they become commoners and need to think of other ways to survive. The Zhuangshan Dao sect created many opportunities for the commoners to make a living. For example, planting medicinal ingredients, raising magical beasts, etc. The sect will allow them to survive. But as you know, wherever there is profit, there will be. Well, you understand, said a disciple. Long Chen understood. 
He felt like the Otter Sect was practically not even a place of cultivation. Otter Sect disciples were the people with the highest income here, and from this disciple's tone, it seemed there were many complicated twists and turns for the people here. As they continued forward, Long Chen continued to ask many things about the Otter Sect. They explained everything they knew without holding anything back. They quickly arrived at a city hundreds of miles wide. The streets were extremely lively, and Long Chen felt like he had returned to the Phoenix Cry capital. He felt an extremely familiar feeling. The law enforcer squad's coming. Run. Long Chen and the Outer Sect disciples had only just walked onto a large street when they saw the street vendors hastily putting their things in their spatial rings and running in fright. From the front, a group of large people with short cudgels charging over. They were muscular but they were also so fat that they looked like they might burst. Whenever they saw anyone, they would beat them. Those people didn't dare to fight back, and only miserably fled. Some who fled too slow were beaten black and blue, blood covering their heads. Long Chen looked and sensed that those people's cultivation bases weren't high. Some of these people had cultivation bases below the bone-forging realm. As for the people beating them, they were all at the Xianchen realm. Although they weren't celestials, beating these peddlers was easy for them. They were extremely tyrannical. Once the peddlers were beaten to the ground by those people, the latter would reach for the spatial rings in their hands. Some people who refused to let go were once more beaten until they fell unconscious. What is this? Robbery. Long Chen was dumbfounded. No, this is the law enforcer squad's way of enforcing the law. Those disciples had seen this so many times that it was just a common occurrence. Why are they beating them? And to beat them so badly, is there some great enmity between them? Long Chen didn't understand. These people are all pitiful. They are unable to pay the expensive rent inside the city, and so they can only stealthily set up stalls on the streets in other places to make some money. But these law enforcers are tasked with handling them. To put it bluntly, without paying the protection fee, you have to be prepared to be beaten to death. The law enforcers don't usually come out. They'll only come when the merchants in the city report to them. The peddlers here infringe on the merchant's profit and the merchants paid the fee, so the peddlers end up being violently kicked out, answered one of the disciples helplessly, how is this kicking them out, they're just taking their money, are they going to hand it over to higher authorities, asked Long Chen, probably not, these peddlers are all poor, so what they have isn't worth much money, they'll probably keep it for themselves, said that disciple, Long Chen nodded, he had long since activated a photographic jade to record the scene of these heroic law enforcers, he had never seen such a heroic squad. Brat, are you looking to die? Seeing Long Chen recording them, one of the law enforcers suddenly roared and charged at Long Chen. Chapter 1047 Stuck Flatbread Translator, born to be one of the law enforcers charged over, stopping when he was right in front of Long Chen, waving his cudgel at Long Chen's nose. He roared, are you looking to die? This person is one of the disciples hastily tried to explain. Shut up, you outer sect disciples. Just properly eat your dog food. Meddlers are asking for it. Cursed the law enforcer, not caring at all about their outer sect disciple robes. He directly moved to snatch Long Chen's photographic jade. As a result, Long Chen gave him a slap in the face that sent him flying into a distant wall. The immense power caused him to flatten like a painting. Blood flew everywhere. Bastard. How dare you attack the law enforcement hall's disciples. Yu Long Chen's attack immediately drew the ire of the other law enforcers and they all charged at him Novaloon.com senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you can't, they have a powerful back pow, 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 but Long Chen didn't care, he gave one slap for each of them, they all shot back like shooting stars and crashed against the wall, they looked like piles of dung that had been tossed into the wall, fuck, I hate people who point at my nose when they talk to me, Long Chen patted his hands, looking at the human shaped paintings on the wall, he spat on the ground, the outer sect disciples were all appalled. They knew that these law enforcers couldn't be provoked. Arrogant brat. You dare to strike me? Just wait one of the bricks embedded in the ground shot towards the speaker. It struck him dead on and he vomited blood. That brick almost smashed him in two. Do you want to try saying that again? Said Long Chen coldly. These people were too arrogant. Some insignificant Xianchen disciples dared to curse him in the face? Those guts really were heaven defying. If Long Chen didn't put them in their place, he wouldn't be Long Chen. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, it's fine. I want to see just how amazing they are to dare curse me in the nose. Long Chen waved his hand. The most irritating people were those who were even wilder than him. Originally, 
he hadn't been thinking about provoking trouble, but these fellows had gone too far. Long Chen intentionally took out a photographic jade as bait, and the result was to be expected. Who dares to attack my law enforcement hall's disciples? Do you want your entire family to be kicked out of the Zhuanshan Dao sect? At this time, another group of people rushed over. This group was stronger than the first group. Their cultivation bases had reached sea expansion, but they were wearing ordinary robes instead of law enforcer robes. Brat, are you looking for trouble? Shouted the large man at the front. He waved his cudgel at Long Chen. Long Chen didn't say a word. His reply was a slap in the face. Following the first group, that large man became a painting on the wall. After the first one, Long Chen didn't pause. The rest of the people following the large man were all slapped into the wall. They slammed in so hard that they couldn't be extracted. The few outer sect disciples beside Long Chen were all dumbfounded. This was too domineering. They were unaware that Long Chen had been demoted into an outer sect disciple because he had beaten up a teacher. All they had received were orders to welcome a disciple, and they hadn't expected that the disciple they were to welcome would be Long Chen. If they had known the reason for his demotion, they wouldn't be so shocked now. If he even dared to beat a teacher, then these little fellows were nothing. They were currently just past the city gates, and Long Chen was already using people to create graffiti on the wall. The uproar brought more and more spectators. When people heard that it was Long Chen, the entire city became chaotic as people surged over. It was just like what that outer sect disciple had said. There was basically no one that didn't know Long Chen in the outer sect they had all heard his great name. That was because in previous generations, the four regions disciples were just green leaves to set off the central plains heavenly geniuses. For generations, the people living here had hoped for a supreme expert to appear amongst the four regions to fight against those people who looked down on them. So when Long Chen led over 10,000 of the four regions' weakest disciples to pass the inner sect trial and almost killed the Central Plains peak genius Xinian, his heroic name had shaken all their hearts. These people all hoped for him to vent their anger. Now in front of this sea of people, Long Chen stood with his hands clasped behind his back, and there were several dozen people who had been slapped into the wall so hard that they looked like flatbread. They obediently lay there, their blood slowly dripping down the wall. Those people's bones had all been broken, and they were unable to move. This group of murderers also ended up with such a day. Retribution has finally come. Looking at the law enforcer's miserable state, not even one person felt the slightest pity. The only thing they felt was hatred. In their eyes, these people were fiends who didn't shrink from any crime. Just at this time, the crowd parted as if fleeing from demons as another group of people appeared. These people were wearing the law enforcement hall's robes. They wore square hats with blue lining on the edges. That was the specific color of the law enforcement hall. The person leading them was a rank 3 celestial whose cultivation base had reached late sea expansion. As soon as he arrived he shouted, Who was it that attacked people in my territory? You no longer want your life. Is that it? Long Chen frowned. He almost couldn't believe it. These swaggering people were from the law enforcement hall? Their robes were a mess. And their hats were askew. As for the person at the front, he was clearly drunk. His gaze was as unsteady as his steps. Even for someone as experienced as Long Chen, this was his first time seeing such a thing. Brat, were you trying to cause trouble? You want to die. He shouted at Long Chen. The group behind him wasn't small, but it wasn't large either. They all seemed drunk. It was very likely they had been drinking when they had been drawn over by the disturbance. Everyone felt resentful that these were their supposed law enforcers. A mid-sea expansion law enforcer walked right in front of Long Chen and raised his hand. Big brother, why waste so many words with him? Just kill him. Just as he was about to strike, Long Chen's hand struck like lightning on his face. With a resounding sound, that person smashed into the wall as well. Brad the fellow leading this group was just about to attack when Long Chen grabbed his hair. Pulling, Long Chen smashed his kneecap up. Long Chen's hard kneecap viciously smashed against the fellow's nose. This one attack caused him to faint. Long Chen gave him another kick, adding another human flatbread to the wall. This flatbread was different from the others. He covered a greater area, and other than blood, some shiny white stuff also came out of him. Many people didn't even know what it was. Fuck. He probably hasn't cultivated for many years. Even his lard was squeezed out. Long Chen was disgusted. He was finally amazed. Even amongst cultivators, there were people who could get astoundingly fat. It seemed the law enforcement hall was quite the cushy place. Without another word, Long Chen charged at the other stunned law enforcers. After giving them a kick each, 
They landed on the wall. More human flatbread appeared on the wall. Fortunately, the wall was supported by powerful runes and didn't collapse. However, this large wall now had a stunning and funny scene on it. Around a hundred people were stuck on it, incapable of moving. Good. Following one person, countless people began to cheer, and the cheering came in loud waves. Their voices were all emotional. Are these people also disliked? Asked Long Chen. Of course. They have the insignia of the law enforcement hall, and so they're capable of committing all kinds of crimes. People have long since grown tired of their bullying. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you've helped us vent some pent-up frustration. These people also often bully us outer sect disciples, but we can't offend them, so we can only endure, explained a disciple. A comparatively more mature disciple said, however, senior apprentice brother Long Chen, you might have vented some anger for us, but now it'll be troublesome for you. It's fine. I'm not afraid of trouble. If it was people from the law enforcement hall, Long Chen didn't care about beating them to death. Within the Zhuangshan Dao sect's northwestern region, there was a small lake that was as flat as a mirror. The scenery was beautiful, and there was a person sitting by the lake, fishing. This person was the one with the highest authority in the Zhuangshan Dao sect, the Zuan Master. Beside him, the Elder Hall Master bowed. Zuan Master, you called for me. The Zuan Master nodded. How do you feel about Long Chen? Liu Kang was surprised. After thinking about it for a moment, he said, he's a very contradictory person, sometimes smart, sometimes foolish, sometimes crafty like a fox, sometimes fierce like a tiger, there's no way to explain him, but there is one thing that is certain, as long as this person doesn't fall, he will definitely become a supreme expert, what an appropriate evaluation, truly worthy of my Deo sect's pillar, the elder hall master, your vision is as sharp as ever, regretfully, the law enforcement hall master is blinded by greed and power, he lost his transcendent heart long ago, and sooner or later, he'll pay the consequences, said the Zuan master. Are you thinking of beating him? Asked Liu Kang. Why would I beat him? The Zuan master smiled slightly. I, Liu Kang was dumbfounded. He didn't know how to respond to that. If he was speaking to an ordinary person, he'd say that he was the Zuan master, the rudder of the entire Zuanshan Dao sect if he didn't handle this matter. Who would? but it was precisely because he was the leader that these words were thought-provoking. But Liu Kang was unable to comprehend his meaning in the end. Then let me ask you, how would you feel if I handed the Zhuangshan Dao sect to Long Chen? Asked the Zuan master. Absolutely not. With his temperament, he'll flip the entire sect around. Liu Kang's expression drastically changed. The Zuan master didn't find this reaction to be unexpected. He was just about to speak once more when he suddenly frowned. We'll talk about that later that fellow's causing trouble again. Go send someone to handle it. Have him fall one more rank. Chapter 1048 Li Changfeng's Praise Translator Born to be Long Chen stood at the entrance of the ancient city with his hands clasped behind his back. In front of him was a graffitied wall with close to a hundred people stuck on it. They were like large pieces of flatbread made of meat. It's you again, Long Chen. Lu Minghan appeared in front of the city gates. Yes, how coincidental. We meet again so soon. Are you still well? Long Chen smiled mischievously. He hadn't expected the first one to come would be Lu Minghan. They really had destiny together. Bastard. You attacked the law enforcers. Let's see how you slip out of your punishment this time. Lu Minghan smiled coldly. The chains in his hands were already lit up. Why would I need to slip out? Has your head rusted? Are you sure these are law enforcers? They're not wearing their robes or status badges. When they see people, they immediately beat them. When they see valuables, they immediately snatch them. I thought I had run into a group of bandits. So what if I want to teach bandits a lesson? That's called reasonable self-defense. I am wearing outer sect disciples' robes and my badge. They had no reason to attack me. By wearing these robes, I represent the Zhuangshan Dao sect. For them to attack me is to attack the Zhuangshan Dao sect. I beat them to protect the Zhuangshan Dao sect from attackers. So I'm clearly standing on the side of reason. Why don't you try and attack me? Sneered Long Chen. A king had arrived. Terrifying everyone here. This was the outer sect. And it was unknown how many years had passed since a king had descended upon them. But then they saw Long Chen talking arrogantly to this king. And they all had an urge to prostrate themselves before him. What nonsense. Aren't some of them wearing law enforcers robes? When the Zhuangshan Dao sect's law enforcers are enforcing the law. It is not permitted to resist. If they did something wrong. You can rebut the charge afterward. 
But you clearly knew they were law enforcers doing their work, and you still violently fought back. Even if your tongue can pull off a miracle, you can't escape your sins, sneered Lu Minghan. Rather than wasting more words, he moved to directly capture Long Chen. Once he was captured, everything would be easy. Hold. Suddenly, another figure appeared in the air. It was Li Changfang. Li Changfang, you can't stop me from doing my job. Seeing Li Changfang instantly infuriated Lu Minghan. He was unable to beat him. I have orders from the Elder Hall Master. Both sides are at fault. Long Chen did beat up law enforcers which is admittedly in the wrong. But the law enforcers were also in the wrong, said Li Changfang. What nonsense. How were the law enforcers in the wrong? Raged Lu Minghan. The first group of people weren't wearing their law enforcers robes. They're your outer members. And I'm sure there's no need for me to go into detail about the violations they commit. As for these disciples wearing their robes. They were drinking on duty. Is that the teachings of your law enforcement hall? Before doing shameful deeds, they need to drink wine to strengthen their gods, said Li Changfang. Long Chen was the first to start clapping. That phrase was delightful. Drinking wine to strengthen their gods. It was concise and comprehensive with profound, far-reaching meaning. It seemed he needed to work on his own eloquence. Li Changfang was the true master. Following Long Chen's praise, the surrounding people also began to clap. Cheering began to erupt. The law enforcement hall was disliked everywhere, but it was especially disliked in the outer sect. Their outer members were especially tyrannical, practically acting as bandits to the commoners. Lu Minghan was ashen with rage. Those law enforcers that were wearing robes were also stuck in the wall, drenched in blood and lard. The smell of alcohol came from them, and there was no way to argue against that fault. He found himself unable to quibble. The elder hall master has said that since both sides were at fault, we can each handle our own disciples. Long Chen rashly beat law enforcers, resulting in negative consequences. He is to be stripped of his status as an outer sect disciple and demoted into a worker. But because he is the leader of the Dragonblood Legion, he has to look after his faction's development. And so he is to keep all his privileges, said Li Changfang. Hearing this, Long Chen was at ease. But Lu Minghan raged. How is that any different from not punishing him? There truly was no difference. The only thing was that Long Chen would lose his 10 points each month. But did Long Chen really need that? If you don't like it, you can go find your hall master. I trust he'll definitely accept, said Li Changfang. Lu Minghan wanted to say something, but his expression suddenly changed and he unwillingly left. Once Lu Minghan left, Li Changfang looked at Long Chen. He was silent for a long while before sighing. I, Li Changfang, have not admired many people in my life. Amongst youngsters, you. Long Chen, are the first. Elder Li overpraises me. If you praise me like this, I'll get conceited, said Long Chen humbly. He had a good feeling toward the Elder Hall's people. They were of exemplary character and people truly worthy of respect. According to what I know, in the Zhuanshan Dao sects hundreds of thousands of years of history, there have been countless miracles and countless new records. I remember there was once a worker, who through hard work, managed to be promoted step by step to a core disciple in 10 months. That's already absolutely shocking. But compared to you, he's still lacking. In less than 10 days, you managed to go from a core disciple to a worker, praised Li Changfang. Long Chen was speechless. Elder Li, why do I feel like you're not praising me? No, it's definitely praise. Last time, you took 8 hours to go from a core disciple to an inner disciple, and now it took you less than 6 hours to go down to ranks. Although I don't dare say there will be none to break your record in the future, there definitely is no precedent, said Li Changfang. Even he was bitterly smiling in the end. He really did admire Long Chen. His ability to cause trouble was remarkable. He had only just left the inner sect and the sun hadn't even set, but he had already been turned into a worker. This was his first time encountering such a marvel in his life. He, Long Chen was a bit embarrassed. It seemed he really had gone a bit too far. But it wasn't like he had wanted to do it. He had been forced. All right. Take off your robes. You can wear your own clothes now. You're already at the bottom. So you can even go barefoot if you want. Laughed Li Changfang. He was just about to leave when he suddenly said. Also. The hall master wanted me to warn you not to always think of nonsense. The inner sect's monthly competition is of utmost importance. The six factions will get points and rewards based on their performance. And that's the foundation of a faction's growth. Don't treat it lightly. Please thank the hall master for his concern. Disciple has already heard of it, said Long Chen. Only then did Li Changfeng leave. 
Long Chen put on a set of black robes. Returning to his original adornment after beating people twice felt refreshing, but having been demoted twice was a bit wearying. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, we can send you to the worker room to report. The outer sect disciples looked at each other before one of them opened his mouth. They weren't even able to keep up with these sudden changes. At first, they were supposed to bring Long Chen to the outer sect to register, but now there was no need for that. They could go directly to the worker room. Many thanks. As an insignificant worker, I should be the one calling you senior apprentice brother, laughed Long Chen. Senior apprentice brother, don't joke. You're the true hero. Considering you dared to beat up law enforcers and curse a king in the face, no one in the outer sect would dare to look down on you, said that disciple. Haha, <laughs> let's go. Long Chen laughed, waving his hand at these grateful commoners before leaving. Once he left, a group of fiends charged over and drove these people away. What are you looking at? Are you forming a crowd to cause trouble? Hurry up and scram, or my cudgel won't be merciful. Law enforcers quickly forced the commoners away. Some of them went to peel people off the wall and bring them away to heal. Long Chen hadn't killed them. Long Chen was brought to a broken down temple. There was a tent in front of the temple, and that was where the workers were to report. Long Chen had just entered when a mid Xi'anshan, middle aged man who didn't even look up said, If you want a good job, first pay five middle grade spirit stones. Long Chen almost laughed. This situation was truly everywhere. He said, I just came to register. Register? Then that's one middle grade spirit stone. HMPH. You have no vision at all. Someone like you is fated to be a poor ghost for the rest of your life. The person finally glanced at Long Chen, but he couldn't sense his cultivation base. What if I don't have any spirit stones? Long Chen shook his head. He had never heard that registering required money. Then scram shouted that person. The people outside the tent finally couldn't bear it. One of the outer sect disciples rushed in and slapped that person across the face. Are you blind? This is senior apprentice brother Long Chen, and he only came here as a formality. But you dare to make things hard on him? Do you now know how the word death is written? Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, this little one was not able to see Mount Tai. Due to your grand magnanimity, please forgive this little one. That person immediately knelt on the ground. It was unknown whether he was frightened by the outer sect disciple's status or Long Chen's name. First, register me and then let me see what kind of good work there is, said Long Chen. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, are you really a worker now? That's not suited to your status, said one of the outer sect disciples. Long Chen shook his head and had the person take out a book. There were all kinds of missions listed. Feeding magical beasts, laying bricks, cleaning up crap, etc. There were thousands of options, but the rewards were only spirit stones. The normal ones gave one spirit stone, while the generous ones gave two. Managing a medicinal field? This one. Set me up for this one. Long Chen's eyes suddenly brightened. Chapter 1049 Getting Rich Translator Born to be in the surrounding region of the Zhuanshan Dao sect was a large mountain range. There were many formations here, and the spiritual key was condensed to the peak. Mist and medicinal fragrance filled the air. There was a huge thousand-mile medicinal field with countless medicinal ingredients here. Hundreds of people were in the midst of carefully going through them with instruments. Some were pulling out weeds. Some were holding brushes to pollinate the flowers. And there were even some carrying extremely small pincers to pick insects off. While everyone else was busy, a black-robed man was leisurely walking through the medicinal field. There were a dozen oversetters present. But these people didn't dare to say a word when they saw Long Chen let alone order him to get to work. How orderly. There are 7th, 8th, and 9th tier medicinal ingredients. However, how evil. None of them are main ingredients. They're just supplementary medicinal ingredients. Well, I suppose that's normal. Main ingredients are always exceptionally precious and exceptionally delicate. They need specialized people to look after them. Well, at least I can get a few useful ones. Long Chen squatted down and excavated a precious ingredient. The oversetters were horrified. If a medicinal ingredient died, they would be the ones scolded. Don't speak. If something happens, I'll take responsibility, said Long Chen before they could say anything. He inserted that medicinal ingredient into the primal chaos space. He urged on the primal chaos space to make it rapidly reproduce. Once he had a large area of it, he took out one and used it as a replacement. Seeing that medicinal ingredient was still flourishing, the oversetters relaxed slightly. Then Long Chen began to do the same thing over and over again. Back in the eastern wastelands pill tower, 
he had obtained quite a few precious medicinal ingredients that had helped to solve many of his problems. But as his cultivation base increased, he needed more. Seeing this many new ones here delighted Long Chen. Long Chen quickly went through the medicinal field. The Oversetters saw that Long Chen would always quickly put back any medicinal ingredients he excavated, and those ingredients wouldn't be damaged at all. In fact, they seemed to be more flourishing than ever. Long Chen worked bitterly and excitedly for three days. Finally, there were tens of thousands of new medicinal ingredients in the primal chaos space. Long Chen was delighted. He directly gathered all the workers and oversetters, giving each of them 1,000 middle-grade spirit stones as a reward. Those people almost went crazy with joy. Long Chen was also almost crazy with joy. He left the medicinal field and returned to the outer sect. He then went to their headquarters to see Wang Mang and the others. They told him a piece of news that made Long Chen's expression sink. Because the ones to receive Long Chen from the eastern wasteland were Wang Mang and the others. They had been targeted upon returning to the Zhuanshan Dao sect during this time. They had been forced to clean up the crap of magical beasts every day. That wasn't even a work that an outer sect disciple was supposed to do. At that time, Long Chen directly grabbed the person in charge of that and gave him two slaps in the face. You idiot. If you want to live, you'll be clear right in the future. Don't think the law enforcement hall's backing makes you untouchable. I dare to beat a teacher and kill a core disciple. If you want to go against me, you had best consider the consequences. That supervisor quivered in terror. He felt Long Chen to be a devil from hell and that his life might dissipate at any moment like the dust being blown by the wind. He immediately arranged for Wang Mang and the others to get easy and comfortable posts. Sorry for troubling you, senior apprentice brother Long Chen, said Wang Mang and the others gratefully. Due to a bribe, Wang Mang had been supposed to make things hard for Long Chen. But as a result, Long Chen didn't hold it against him, and now he had become Long Chen's subordinate. That had caused the people above him to be irritated. Although Wang Mang was smart and exchanged the sea demon Nidans for quite a few things and sent them upwards, he still wasn't able to quell their rage. After taking those things, they sent him to clean up the crap of magical beasts. I'm the one who troubled you. Long Chen shook his head. I won't let you lose out. In the future, you can help me communicate with the outer sect disciples. Spread the word that the Dragonblood Legion is selling points. 20,000 spirit stones for one point. There are only 20,000 points available, and each person may only buy one, said Long Chen. He knew Kian Duaduo had yet to carry out that project, because he was unable to find Wang Mang. Now thanks to his two demotions, he had not only gathered a huge amount of medicinal ingredients, but he had also found Wang Mang. For so cheap? Isn't that too little? Can we buy it ourselves? Asked Wang Mang, his heart thumping. Don't be so foolish. These are to be sold to others in order to raise popularity. Don't get red-eyed for something as small as this. Look further. I guarantee you all will quickly become inner sect disciples, said Long Chen confidently. Wang Mang and the others were delighted. A terrifying person like Long Chen was capable of anything. Thinking of how they could become inner sect disciples, they were indescribably grateful. He had Wang Mang go spread the news. Then Long Chen obediently took the transportation formation back to the inner sect if an outer sect disciple wanted to go to the inner sect. They would have to undergo a strict investigation. But when those disciples saw Long Chen, they didn't even check his badge. They directly let him through. What kind of joke was that? His face was his signboard. It could be said that it was possible for someone in the Zhuanshan Dao sect to not recognize the Zuan master. But there was basically no one who didn't recognize Long Chen. He ruthlessly launched a killing blow to a core disciple, wildly beat a teacher, and was still able to live happily in the Zhuanshan Dao sect that in itself was a miracle. When Long Chen returned to the inner sect, he immediately caused an uproar. That was because he was too conspicuous. Inner sect disciples all had to wear inner sect disciple robes, which were white. But Long Chen was wearing his own black robes. Long Chen ignored the strange looks. He went directly to Crouching Dragon Mountain. Guo Ran and the others were in the midst of holding a meeting. Now that Long Chen had left, Crouching Dragon Mountain no longer had a leader. Boss, Long Chen's arrival delighted them. Long Chen said, Kian Duaduo, go to the outer sect and start the project. First, release 20,000 points. Then five days later, put out 50,000 points. And one month later, sell another 100,000 points. But the prices are not to be the same. Sell the first wave for 20,000 middle spirit stones each, 30,000 for the second wave, and 40,000 for the third wave. Then, stop selling them. 
My guess is that the other factions will not be able to sit still and will send people disguised as outer sect disciples to buy as many points as possible. At that time, directly raise the price to a hundred thousand middle grade spirit stones for one. I trust we'll definitely make a killing, but boss, then we won't have any points to exchange for resources. We'll be at a disadvantage in the first competition and lose even more points in the end, said Guo Ran. Then let me ask you, if we spent all these points on raising everyone's power, then according to the distribution of power, what ranking would we get? Asked Long Chen. I, Guo Ran was dumbfounded. He and the others looked at each other. In terms of power, they were the weakest. Even if they went all out, they would probably still be dead last. Just the core Dragonblood Legion on its own was unable to make up for the weakness of the new warriors. When it comes to our average power, we're the weakest, and there's no way to argue against that. Even if we went all out, the greatest possible result is that we might be able to suppress the 10,000 Insect Guild and go from last to second last, but the reward still wouldn't be high. Furthermore, the competition is no ordinary game. It's the same as the Intersect Trial and will be based on killing. There will be huge casualties and throwing away so many lives for ranking isn't worth it. That's why I've decided to just obediently be in last place this time. What I want is for every person to survive this competition. That would be a victory for us. So, don't bother with anything else. Focus completely on drilling the new warriors. Teach them what a true battle is. They need to get accustomed to working in squads and rapidly changing formations. Furthermore, have each new member get a tattoo of a dragon on their arms. You are Dragonblood Warriors, and in the future, they will be known as Dragon Mark Warriors. They'll slowly integrate with us, so guide them into becoming a collective whole, said Long Chen. Don't worry boss, I have experience in that regard. I'll definitely handle the Dragonblood Legion properly, promised Guo Ran. Good. Is there any news of Men Qi and the others? Asked Long Chen. Even now, he hadn't gotten any news of them. If Men Qi, Wild, and Yu Zifan were present. The Dragonblood Legion definitely wouldn't need to fear any group battle. We've asked around, but they said that as special disciples, that have specialized teachers leading them through specific trials. Apparently, the treatment of a special disciple is equivalent to a core disciple, said Guo Ran. If that was true, the Dragonblood Legion would be incomparably powerful in the future. Who would be able to compare to them? Long Chen nodded. If that was the case, he was at ease. When they returned, the Dragonblood Legion's power would lead to a new height. After giving them their missions, Long Chen descended Crouching Dragon Mountain and went to Treasure Gem Island. That was where the Zhuanchen Dao sect had its treasures. It was also the place where the disciples spent their points the most. As long as you had enough points, you could buy anything there. Long Chen was bringing a large number of points. He wanted to see if there was anything he needed that he could buy. Treasure Gem Island was a couple hundred miles and was filled with buildings. The pedestrians were like ants, and it was very lively. However, whether it was inner sect disciples or outer sect disciples, they all had to wear their disciple robes. Long Chen's arrival drew countless gazes. Long Chen had only just stepped off the transportation formation when he saw a certain person. He felt the space around him suddenly begin to heat up. Seeing who it was, Long Chen's gaze turned ice cold. Chapter 1050 A Specialist in Beating People Translator Born to be that person was the one who had fought a life and death battle against Long Chen and had narrowly managed to escape the Yama King's clutches. Xinian. Seeing Long Chen, flames almost erupted from Xinian's eyes. That battle back then had not just almost taken his life, but it had also lost all his face, and even his strongest earth flame had been snatched away. His hatred for Long Chen had reached a level that could no longer be described with words. He directly walked over to him. Long Chen. Xinian clenched his teeth, not hiding his killing intent at all. Gate master, it's not permitted to fight in here. Xinian's flame gates members all panicked. It was forbidden to fight in Treasure Gem Island. Xinian hastily stopped. He had almost let his hatred get the better of him. If he caused trouble here, then regardless of his status, he would be imprisoned. Pow. Xinian might have stopped, but Long Chen didn't stop his hand. Because Xinian had come to a stop so suddenly. His face ended up leaning forward slightly for a moment. Long Chen reflexively gave him a slap in the face. Looking at that, it seemed as if Xinian had rushed over and intentionally stuck out his face for Long Chen to slap it. Xinian was sent flying. This was right in front of the transportation formation, an extremely lively place. But that resounding slapping sound caused everyone to go deathly silent. Everyone looked over in shock. 
Idiot. Don't block the path. Snorted Long Chen. As if nothing had happened, he continued on his way. Xinian stabilized himself in the air. He was almost insane now, and he was just about to release his aura to fight against Long Chen when a cold shout rang out. Who is causing a ruckus here? An elder appeared in the air, glaring at Long Chen and Xinian. He was a king. Ah, you misunderstand. I wasn't causing a ruckus. There were too many people, and we just carelessly bumped into each other, said Long Chen. Bumped into each other. That elder icily stared at him. Yes, he was in too big of a rush. He was walking too fast, and his face was too big, so he carelessly bumped into my hand. If you don't believe me, you can ask him, said Long Chen, completely relaxed. The handprint on Xin Ian's face was clearly visible. Long Chen's slap had been truly vicious. Anyone else might have been killed if they were struck by that blow. Xin Ian was almost unable to bear it. Even after circulating his heavenly Dao energy, the mark didn't fade for a long time. The most important thing was that the essence blood and core energy he had ignited last time still hadn't recovered. Compared to Long Chen's injuries, his own sequelae were too great. Today, he had come over to Treasure Gem Island to get some medicinal pills to heal himself. What do you say? Asked the elder frostily. Xinian's expression immediately looked like he had just swallowed a housefly. If he didn't admit to it, then he would also be at fault, and the two of them would be taken away. He is right. It was a misunderstanding. Xinian's words were spat out through the gaps between his teeth. He was about to go crazy from rage. See, I was right. Long Chen shrugged. Your enmities don't interest me. Treasure Gem Island is a special place with countless treasures. It is forbidden to fight, so I'd advise not causing trouble, warned the elder before leaving. Once he left, Long Chen also continued to walk nonchalantly, making Xinian fume. Rancor flashed in his eyes. Long Chen, just you wait. Long Chen didn't even glance at Xinian. He truly was an idiot. His blood key was still so weak, meaning he still wasn't healed. If they were to fight, Long Chen could crush him. Long Chen still hadn't given up his thoughts of killing Xinian. He would never be able to forget those people who had seen hope and had just been about to succeed when they lost their lives because of his idiotic actions. Although they weren't related to him, Long Chen still felt furious. No one could do foolish things without paying a price. However, now wasn't the time to handle him. Long Chen was simply waiting for his chance. As he continued forward, Long Chen was shocked by Treasure Gem Island's foundation. He saw countless treasures that made him have an urge to plunder everything. He saw weapons, sets of armor, talismans, medicinal ingredients, and king weapons. There were even 9th rank houseput eggs. 9th rank. In other words, an existence on the level of a king. However, when he saw the prize, he had an urge to ransack all of Treasure Gem Island. 3 million points? How was that any different from robbery? Altogether, the Dragonblood Legion's points were only just over 1 million. Furthermore, incubating and raising a ninth rank magical beast would also require resources. That was money. Fine. I won't play with this stuff for now. Time to take a look at the more reasonable things. Walking through the path, Long Chen was completely dazzled by the treasures he saw. There were even people being sold. Well, being sold wasn't the best description. More accurately, they were being rented. Long Chen personally saw a group of young men and women sitting in a tier room. Signboards beside them listing prices. Long Chen was curious and had been about to ask them what they were doing when he saw a young disciple go over to strike up a conversation with one of the beautiful women. As a result, he was cursed away by her. That disciple actually thought the price beside her was the fee for a night of special exchanges. Even Long Chen felt bad for that person. Fortunately, this was Treasure Gem Island. If he had made the same mistake anywhere else, he might already be on his way to reincarnating. These people were the senior generation's disciples. They were all foundation forging experts, and they had come to sell their abilities. They could act as a bodyguard. They could help accomplish missions. They could accompany you through an adventure. They could train you and help increase your cultivation base. And there were even some willing to be hired thugs that would teach a lesson to the people you wanted clobbered. Different professions offer different prices, but it seemed that the profession involving a night of pleasures hadn't opened up yet. Junior brother. Have you run into any trouble? If you were bullied by someone, go ahead and tell your senior apprentice brother. I'm a fighter who helps people vent. My reputation has been built up over 10 years, and as long you dare to think of someone, I'll beat them up for you. How is it? Junior brother, think it over. I still haven't made my first sale today, 
so I'll give you a 20% discount, called out a large man toward Long Chen. You know, I really do have someone in mind. Fuck, he really is a bully. Can you really help me beat him? Long Chen's eyes brightened. Of course. However, junior brother, let me just say this clearly. I only teach people lessons. I don't take people's lives. No one would dare to break the sect's rules like that. Furthermore, there are levels to my beatings. There are light ones involving just a few slaps and kicks to get someone to be more obedient, and there are heavier ones where I beat them black and blue. Those are the kinds of beatings that require going to the healing hall. I can also heavily injure someone so they can't get up for the next half a month. How is it? Are you interested? I can give you a special package. Three beatings that can happen at different times and different places for a low price. How does 500 points sound? Asked that large man. The money's not a problem. But do you really dare to beat him? Long Chen hesitated. After all, that person's status wasn't ordinary. Don't worry, my reputation is stellar. Speak. What's their name? He said confidently. Luo Fan. Luo Fan? Why does that name sound so familiar? Muttered the large man. What the fuck? You're just duping me. Isn't that the law enforcement hall master? How am I duping you? I truly do have enmity with him. Didn't you brag about how you would beat up anyone? Cursed Long Chen. Brat. You. Wait. Are you Long Chen? That large man came to a sudden comprehension. Of course. Or why else would I be looking for trouble for that old ghost? Do you accept this mission or not? Let alone 500 points. I'll give you 50,000 points. And I also don't need you to slap him or anything. Just run over to the law enforcement hall and roar that Luo Fan is an old bastard and I'll immediately pay you. Said Long Chen. 50,000. The large man was startled. This money spending style was shocking, but he really didn't dare to accept. Who knew whether or not he would have his life after that? And even if he lived, he'd be expelled from the Zhuanshan Dao sect then those points would be useless. Fine, you're the bigger man. I admit my inferiority. Please go find someone more qualified than me. The large man shook his head. Let's discuss this, said Long Chen. No, I don't have your big guts. He bitterly smiled. He was from the senior generation, but even he was aware of how Long Chen had beat up a teacher, causing the elder hall master and law enforcement hall master to fight. In the senior generation's eyes, Long Chen was like a devil in human form. Even they wouldn't play with him. They avoided him like the plague. Long Chen wanted to see if he could worm his way into being friends with any of them and ask about the situation around. But as a result, when they learned he was Long Chen, they all fled. Long Chen was speechless and could only continue roaming. Asking around, he finally found the place he was looking for, the 10,000 pill hall. He needed to buy a few things to help the dragon blood leggy and grow. Chapter 1051 Making a Killing Translator Born to be may I ask what you're looking for? Long Chen had just entered when a maiden walked over and courteously spoke to him. She was an outer sect disciple who was working here for points. So her attitude was naturally very good. I want to buy a few precious medicinal ingredients, said Long Chen. Getting straight to the point, the maiden directly handed Long Chen a thick book. All the precious medicinal ingredients names, ages, prices, and identification numbers are here. You can go through it and then tell me the identification numbers. I'll get them from the storage room. All right, many thanks. Long Chen opened the thick book. He skipped to the seventh tier medicinal ingredients and began browsing. Nine Yang Heavenly Star Grass. Killin Blood Spirit Fungus. Flying Star Anise. Dragon Gall Bitter Fruit. Long Chen named off over 80 ingredients, requiring one of each, causing the maiden to jump. Senior Apprentice Brother. These are main ingredients for alchemy, and they're incredibly expensive. It will require a lot of points, she warned. Each one of these ingredients required thousands of points, and some over 10,000. It's fine. Can you calculate how many points it will take? Asked Long Chen. These points weren't important, as long as he could get these ingredients. Everything else would be fine. In total, 278,500 points, she said. She had worked here for several years, and she had never seen someone pay so much. That's fine. Can you gather them for me? I still have plenty of points. Long Chen smiled, but inside, his heart was dripping blood. That amount was no joke. All right, please wait a moment. She hurriedly left, leaving behind another attendant to look after Long Chen. After all, a rich customer like him had to be properly looked after. An incense sticks worth of time later. She returned with a tray. There was an elegant jade case resting on it. The jade case possessed its own space. 
and the medicinal ingredients were sealed within. She handed the medicinal ingredients over one by one to Long Chen for his inspection. Once Long Chen confirmed that all these medicinal ingredients were the right one and in good condition, Long Chen took out a crystal card. That was the Dragon Blood Legion's crystal card, and the faction's points were all within it. Please get it over quickly. That way, the pain in my heart will go by faster. Long Chen bitterly smiled, handing over the crystal card. He couldn't contain his distress. The maiden smiled and received it. After setting the number of points to be deducted, she was just about to activate it. Wait a moment. Suddenly, a middle-aged man walked in. He icily stared at Long Chen, and then looking at the medicinal ingredients on the table, he frowned. These medicinal ingredients were already reserved by others. When are you going to learn not to be so negligent? The maiden was startled, hastily saying, I already checked everything carefully. No one shut up. You've even learned to talk back? Go back to the storehouse and check the lists. He shouted coldly. She reddened and ran away. Only then did the middle-aged man put on a businessman-like expression. He turned to Long Chen and said, I'm very sorry, but these medicinal ingredients were reserved by others and can't be sold. But if you're really set on this, it's not impossible. How about this? As long as you can make up for that lost business, I'll still sell you these medicinal ingredients. As for the price, let's just set it as double. He smiled amicably at Long Chen, but his eyes were full of disdain and mocking. Do you know? An idiot like you would have long since died if this wasn't the Zhuanshan Dao sect. I suppose this 10,000 pill hall is the property of the Alchemy Pavilion. And you're from the Alchemy Pavilion? Are you intentionally making things hard on me? Demanded Long Chen. The middle-aged man looked around and saw there was no one else around before his mouth twisted into a cold smile. So what? I hear you have a few alchemy arts that make you so arrogant you look down on everyone else. You even dared to beat one of my alchemy pavilion's teachers. And I hear you're quite wild. To the point that you even dare to beat up law enforcers in the outer sect. Now I want to see how you act wild in front of me. Will you be cheated? Or scram? Don't tell me those criminal bastards in the outer sect who exploit the poor are your stooges. Long Chen suddenly narrowed his eyes. Smart. But do you think it makes you very special? In reality, your brashness will be the end of you. You'll be unable to move an inch in the Zhuanshan Dao sect for example. Right now you are helpless to do anything. So either buy it, or scram. Up to you, said the middle-aged man indifferently. What's your name? Asked Long Chen. What? You want to get revenge? Ha ha ha. Then I'll wait for you. Remember, my name is Luo Bo if you have that ability. Then come at me whenever you want. Sneered Luo Bo Long Chen smiled. Luo Bo? Good. That's fine. I'll admit to featuring today. I'll buy it. And I hope you don't regret today. Long Chen took those medicinal ingredients and directly paid twice the price for it. He had an urge to beat this bastard. In these early stages, points were at their most precious level. Having to pay so much was sending hail on top of snow for the Dragonblood Legion. In all his life, Long Chen hadn't felt this irritated. If it weren't for the fact that the Dragonblood Legion hadn't established itself in the Central Plains yet and needed the fertile lands of the Zhuanshan Dao sect to grow, Long Chen would definitely have killed this dolt. But he knew that it was precisely because of the protection of the rules that certain people were fearless and bullied others as they pleased. He furiously left the 10,000 pill hall. He prayed he wouldn't run into more idiots, or he really might kill someone. As soon as Long Chen left Treasure Gem Island and was thinking of returning to Crouching Dragon Mountain, he found his way blocked by people telling him that since he was no longer an Intersect disciple, he could not stay within the Intersect during the night. Thus, he would have to return to the Outer Sect and so he returned to the Outer Sect as he was looking for a clean hotel to stay in. He was blocked once more by law enforcers who were checking to see if anyone was running a brothel service there. As a result, they were all tossed out by Long Chen, once more stuck in a wall. Then on the hotel door, he installed a sign saying, Law enforcers and dogs are not allowed to enter. That night passed very peacefully. No one dared to disturb Long Chen again, and the law enforcers avoided his hotel. Long Chen was stifling a belly full of anger. He almost beat those idiots to death but he managed to hold himself back. After calming down, he began to plant his newly acquired medicinal ingredients. They had been preserved very well and were still living. They quickly began to flourish. After a bitter night's work, he had planted over a thousand of each of them. His private medicinal field had grown a great deal. By the time the medicinal field was finished, the sky had brightened. Before Long Chen could even leave, Wang Mang and the others had come. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. We've already investigated. 
Those outer sect law enforcers are closely related to that Luo Bo you mentioned. One of them seems to have taken in some secret benefits, and the organization behind them is a bit complicated. It is related to the law enforcement hall and the alchemy pavilion. Those two departments are both very protective, and no one dares to investigate them. As for those law enforcers, they have a set amount of offerings that they have to send up each month. Although the outer sect is impoverished, there's an uncountable number of commoners, and so there's still considerable wealth that can be squeezed out of them. If you want to handle those disciples, you have to be cautious, said Wang Mang. Cautious my ass. Let's just make a killing already. Has the first wave of points gone out yet? Asked Long Chen. They were sold out and gone in a flash. Quite a few people grumbled over not being able to get any, said Wang Mang. Good. Tell them the second wave is coming soon, but the price will be different, said Long Chen. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, why not just directly raise the price to 50,000? Otherwise, you're losing too much money. Even if the price was 50,000 spirit stones for one point, countless people would still want to buy them, suggested Wang Mang. Long Chen shook his head. This is called throwing a brick to attract jade. I'm not looking for the outer sect disciples money. After establishing a trustworthy platform, the next thing to do is establish comfortable betting. They talked for a while. Long Chen had Wang Mang begin establishing more contacts and to create his own power within the outer sect. Long Chen directly gave Wang Mang 10,000 points. Those 10,000 points weren't to be sold. They were to be used to encourage people, to encourage people to go beat up those law enforcers. Those law enforcers often went out bullying others when they weren't even on shift. They had no privileges at that time, but they still went out to patrol. It was time to end that practice. If true law enforcers on duty appeared, then they were to be ignored. But if any law enforcers went too far, then they were to be beaten. When the time came, Long Chen would be there to support them. As a result, the entire outer sect became chaotic. The outer sect was huge, and there were dozens of cities just as big as this one. Hearing that they had Long Chen's support, and there was even a reward, people almost went crazy with delight. There was a new sight commonly seen all across the city. The outer sect disciples were now constantly roving around and seeing any law enforcers off-duty, they would attack. The law enforcers were infuriated. Just as they were planning on settling the bill, Long Chen appeared and they didn't even dare to fart. The higher-ups had sent news not to provoke Long Chen. Long Chen had the support of the Elder Hall, and going against him would not be smart. The law enforcement hall had learned to be more obedient. They were waiting for a chance, but before that chance, they wouldn't easily take action. However, once that chance arrived, they would bring Long Chen his death. So the law enforcement hall was temporarily not doing anything to Long Chen. But that dumbfounded Luo Bo he got a large monthly stream of money from the outer sect. But now that the law enforcement hall had turned coward, he was losing out on all of it. Moreover, he was part of the alchemy pavilion and had no authority to interfere in matters of the outer sect. He could only watch as his profits dwindled. The outer sect was now Long Chen's land and more and more outer sect disciples were throwing themselves to his side. Luo Bo sounds like Dakin Radish Carrot. It would be the first thing that pops into your head if someone said it. Novaloon.com Chapter 1052 Bitter Earth Mortal Molting Pill Translator Born to be the outer sect contained the greatest number of people within the entire Zuanshan Dao sect thus. The total number of points spread amongst all outer sect disciples and workers was enormous. Many of those points were the wealth parents had left to their children in hopes of them one day soaring. Long Chen was focused on them right now. He was establishing a marketing platform within the outer sect after three batches of points. Despite the fact that their price was now 50,000 middle grade spirit stones for one, the supply did not meet the demand. Countless people were doing their best to buy them, but it was hard to get even a single one. What shocked Kian Duoduo was that it was just as Long Chen had said. There really were people who went to find him, looking to buy points in bulk. They had come after the second batch. The price back then had been 30,000 middle grade spirit stones, and they had offered to pay 50,000. Kian Duoduo had acted according to Long Chen's instructions and ignored them. After the third batch, they came again, offering a price of 80,000 spirit stones. Kian Duoduo had offered a price of 100,000, and if they were able to pay the price, they could buy out all the 600,000 points they still had. That person had mysteriously returned two days later, taking in all of those 600,000 points in one gulp. Other than a tiny reserve, the Dragonblood Legion had sold off all their points. 
Long Chen had obtained a total of 60 billion middle grade spirit stones. They were packed into a mountain in his spatial ring. Once those points were bought, the person behind the scenes finally appeared. It was the Divine Beast Mansion's Hu Gishan. However, just Hu Gishan on his own was unable to afford such a thing. He had taken all his disciples' middle grade spirit stones, and it still hadn't been enough. That was because their dependence on middle grade spirit stones after advancing to sea expansion was too high. Normally, middle grade spirit stones were all used as currency. Not that many people would store up huge stockpiles of them. Without enough middle grade spirit stones, they had used high grade spirit stones to make up for the difference. But it still hadn't been enough. 60 billion middle grade spirit stones was 10 times the amount of what Long Chen had paid to reconstruct the Eastern Wastelands branch sect. Furthermore, the actual reconstruction only took 3 billion, the rest had been for savings and extras. In other words, 60 billion was enough to build 20 of those branch sects. From this, it could be seen how much money the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples had. Hu Gishan wasn't able to eat it all by himself, so he had worked together with Fan Song's Hegemon Hall and Xin Ion's Flame Gate. Only all together did they have enough spirit stones. Once they were bought, Hu Gishan and the others immediately released the news, mocking Long Chen for selling his incredibly precious points for some useless spirit stones. It was foolish to the peak. The news that Long Chen had sold all his points quickly spread throughout the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Countless people mocked him for his stupidity. Only Long Chen was sneering inside at them. He told the Dragonblood warriors to ignore them and just properly drill their formations and accumulate battle experience. Right now, Long Chen was the hegemon of the outer sect. The law enforcers didn't dare to touch him. Without anyone to bully them, the peddlers returned. Long Chen had the outer sect disciples form a region outside the city for the peddlers to sell their wares. He gave them a way to live that didn't disturb the order of the city. If you wanted high quality things, you could go inside the city, and if you just wanted street stall goods, you could go outside the city. Those peddlers were incomparably grateful and took the initiative to pay a protection fee. Long Chen had the outer sect disciples take a small fee and send a few disciples to look after their safety, so no one would cause trouble for them again. The outer sect quickly began to thrive under Long Chen's rule. It was more flourishing than ever. In the outer sect's members' eyes, Long Chen was like a god, and they prostrated themselves before him. Even the law enforcers had to be obedient and didn't dare to leave their doors. At this time, everyone complied with the rules very properly, and there was basically no need for law enforcers. Everything was peaceful and harmonious. Long Chen essentially handed those matters to Wang Mang and Kai and Duoduo to handle. Using his few remaining points, he spent 5,000 on a treasure class, 7th tier medicinal furnace, that made Long Chen's heart bleed, but there was no way around it. He hadn't refined pills in a long time, and his pill furnace was unable to keep up with his requirements. He had no choice but to spend a great deal of money on buying one. This pill furnace could only count as middle grade. High grade ones cost tens of thousands of points, while peak grade pill furnaces cost hundreds of thousands of points or even millions. Long Chen didn't even dare to look at those. He had realized that in the Zhuanshan Dao sect, no matter how many points you had, it wouldn't be enough. That was because there were far too many good things to buy. In a private room within the city, Long Chen had a few outer sect disciples guard the door so that no one would disturb him. Because he was a worker, it was more convenient for him to stay in the outer sect. He still retained his privileges and could enter the inner sect, but he couldn't live there. A flame leaked into existence over his hand. The earth flame was much stronger now, delighting him. Huo Long had devoured two new earth flames and was still in the process of digesting all their energy. But even now, there was an extremely obvious leap in its power. Once all that energy was digested, Huo Long would reach a terrifying level. It's been a long time since I've done any alchemy. Will I have gotten rusty? Long Chen heated the furnace and took out a few medicinal ingredients from the primal chaos space. Right now, he was refining a seventh tier medicinal pill known as the Bitter Earth Mortal Molting Pill. This pill's effect was the same as the peak grade divine mortal molting elixir he had obtained in the immemorial path, but it definitely wasn't on the same level in terms of effect. That was because the divine mortal molting elixir increased a person's talent and cleansed their bone marrow without the person feeling the slightest pain. In fact, it was incredibly comfortable, but the Bitter Earth Mortal Molting Pill was unable to do the same. Its main ingredient was the bitter earth dragon bone root, and that thing was both bitter and spicy. When it was ground into powder, it would automatically ignite. In any case, once the bitter earth mortal molting pill was consumed, 
even a man of steel would soften. There was no way around this. Although the Zhuangshan Dao sect also had divine mortal molting elixir that could be bought, it would cost 800 for each person. That was eight months of rations for an inner sect disciple, and there was no way for them to afford it. Nice. What a strong flame. Long Chen had just started refining some of the ingredients when he saw that the refinement was completed in just a breath. That delighted him. This was the result of being connected spiritually with his earth flame. What he wanted, it would immediately do. It was incredibly easy. If he had subdued another earth flame, it definitely wouldn't be this easy. Long Chen praised himself for making the right decision in not listening to the eastern wasteland bell. Rather than subduing that lion whatever blaze, having Huo Long to do his bidding was much more dependable. With Huo Long's assistance, refining the ingredients into powders was as easy as turning a hand. In fact, after he repeated the same refinement several times, Huo Long would memorize the flame control for that ingredient, and its control would be just as accurate as Long Chen's. Time passed, and eventually, a bang came from within the pill furnace. Long Chen opened the lid and saw nine medicinal pills covered in lines and releasing strong medicinal fragrance. He, a treasure blade does not rust. Eight nine-ring pills, and one eight-ring pill. A chew. Long Chen suddenly went through a sneezing fit, as the medicinal fragrance was too pungent and it irritated his eyes. He hastily tossed them inside a bottle. For the next few days, Long Chen gave his crystal card to Tang Wan Er. Using the remaining points, he had Tang Wan Er and Guo Ran raise their power as much as possible. Within the Dragon Blood Legion, the two of them had the greatest room for growth, and they would be the greatest guards of the faction's lives during the competition. Tang Wan Er could learn wind magical arts, and within the trial regions of the Zhuangshan Dao sect, she could cultivate them twice as fast with half the effort. As for Long Chen, his main mission was to refine pills as fast as possible. Fortunately, with Huo Long's assistance, his alchemy arts were practically miraculous. A furnace of pills could be refined without him even doing anything. Huo Long had already memorized the process, and in just a dozen breaths, the refinement would be completed. This kind of terrifying speed would probably cause countless alchemists to commit suicide out of shame. Furthermore, each furnace of pills was comprised of nine ring pills. Other than the first eight ring pill, the rest were all nine ring. After three days and three nights of refining, he had over 13,000 bitter earth mortal molting pills. Just one pill was enough for each person. More accurately, if a person ate two, they would be crippled. This was an extremely domineering pill. Long Chen left his seclusion. The outer sect was extremely normal. He went to the inner sect and saw far fewer people than before. The classes were over, so everyone had already chosen their best cultivation paths. They had entered the various cultivation lands, as there were specialized instructors there to guide them. Returning to Crouching Dragon Mountain, he saw that the majority of disciples were already cultivating. Long Chen waited until night, but the majority had yet to gather. At this time, law enforcers came to tell Long Chen that he should return to the outer sect as a result. Long Chen simply told them to scram, and they didn't dare to make a sound. They obediently went to report this, but in the end, nothing else happened. Most likely, the law enforcement hall was also aware they were unable to cause Long Chen any difficulties over such minor things. Rather than wasting the effort, they just let him be. Finally, the Dragon Blood Warriors were all gathered, with the new Dragon Mark Warriors also present. They worshipfully looked at the person standing in front, the only person who could wear their personal robes in the inner sect looking at all those new faces. Long Chen felt a bit foreign, but seeing how passionate their gazes were, he was also full of emotion. Brothers, I've come here today to give you candy. There's no need to be courteous. Come, each person can have one. Chapter 1053 Huo Long Split Bodies Translator Born to be candy, everyone was flabbergasted. They had been gathered to get candy? Gu Yang, Guo Ran, come and distribute the candy to the Dragon Mark Warriors Long Chen tossed a case to Guo Ran. Guo Ran opened it and saw that they really were candy. What he didn't know was that these were medicinal pills Long Chen had added a layer of sugar to, that was to prevent their scent from spreading. Otherwise, once this case was opened, nobody on Crouching Dragon Mountain would be able to keep their eyes open. Dragon Mark Warriors, listen well. Now you've joined the Dragon Blood Legion. I trust the Dragon Blood Warriors have told you about the Dragon Blood Legion's history. In the Dragon Blood Legion, you don't need to have high talent. You just have to be absolutely loyal. You can never betray your brothers and sisters. They will also never betray you. And I also trust you. Starting today, you'll become true members. 
Swallow the candy in your hands. That little ball of sugar will be your first step toward the peak of the martial path, shouted Long Chen. Yes, boss. The Dragon Mark warriors directly swallowed the little balls in their hands, in their hearts. Long Chen was a god. Even if he wanted them to swallow a ball of dung, they wouldn't hesitate. Heavens, my stomach is burning, cried a Dragon Mark warrior. Following him, the others also began to feel like a fire was burning in their stomachs. Red vapor began to come from their mouths and noses when they breathed. Then it wasn't just their nose and mouth, but also their ears. In fact, even their eyes were emitting some of it. It was a ghastly sight. Brothers, don't be afraid. This is the effect of the bitter earth mortal molting pill. With our points, we couldn't buy peak grade divine mortal molting elixir. So you'll need to experience some bitterness. The bitter earth mortal molting pill can greatly increase your talent, stabilize your foundation, and cleanse your bone marrow. Because your cultivation bases are high, you'll have to experience some extra pain. But everything you go through now is so you can survive on the battlefield. Endure it. Because it's all worth it, said Long Chen. Don't worry boss, we can still endure. One person cried out, but as soon as he spoke, he coughed up red vapor, looking comical. Crouching Dragon Mountain became covered in a red haze. Guo ran, don't cry, they'll definitely be able to bear it, comforted Gu Yang. Who's crying? This smoke, it's irritating to my eyes. Ugh, I can't handle it, I have to leave. After saying that, Guo ran vanished like a wisp of smoke. His constitution was too weak, and he couldn't even handle this vapor. The Dragon Mark warriors had turned completely red now, like prawns that had been thoroughly cooked. Long Chen had the Dragon Blood warriors constantly splash water on their bodies. When the water touched them, it was like water splashing on red hot iron. A crisp boiling sound came from them. The Dragon Blood warriors couldn't help but rejoice in their good luck. They had already consumed the peak grade divine mortal molting elixir or they would also be experiencing this pain now. The Dragon Mark warriors looked like they were being cooked in flames. Their skin was roiling, and black liquid was seeping out of it. That liquid was extremely disgusting to smell. Seeing this, the Dragon Mark warriors firmed their resolve. They weren't fools. They knew this was the impurities that the medicinal energy had forced out of their bodies. That was an immensely beneficial thing to them. Although they felt unbearable pain, they were also grateful to Long Chen. They had heard of Divine Mortal Molting Elixir, and they also knew they couldn't afford to buy it. However, they hadn't thought that Long Chen would be able to use a different method to achieve the same effect as Peak Grade Divine Mortal Molting Elixir. Long Chen nodded. Although these Dragon Mark warriors only had average talent, that battle of blood and fire had strengthened their wills. That was something many experts did not possess. The pain should last around three days. Once those three days are over, you should feel like you've completely transformed. After saying that, Long Chen left Crouching Dragon Mountain. Just as he was leaving, he suddenly thought of something and had Guo Ran send an application for him. That application was for the Alchemy Pavilion. Long Chen was applying to be one of their disciples and enjoy the benefits of such a position. He clearly listed his alchemy abilities and his experience in that regard. Boss, even if you used your butt to think, it's clear you'll be refused. You beat up one of their teachers. Aren't you asking me to go and get cursed? said Guo Ran bitterly. If you could figure it out, so could I. They definitely won't approve my application. What I want is to record their attitude and reason, said Long Chen. All right then. Guo Ran helplessly thickened his skin and went over. He knew he was probably about to receive a bout of cursing. Long Chen continued to seclude himself in the outer sect this time. He was refining a different pill. This was the very famous Heavenly Star Sea Merging Pill. This was a pill all sea expansion experts required. Its medicinal energy was extremely powerful, and it could raise a sea expansion expert's cultivation base the quickest. As long as your realm was high enough, you could consume it without any side effects. It was an extremely miraculous, but also precious medicinal pill. In the Zhuanshan Dao sect, one nine ring heavenly star sea merging pill cost one point. An inner sect disciple might spend all their points on them, and they would only get 100. That sounded like a lot. But the Heavenly Star Sea Merging Pill was different from ordinary medicinal pills. It could be classified as a lukewarm pill. Although its medicinal energy was extremely strong, its effect was very slow. In order to see a rapid effect, you had to constantly consume them. 100 of them could be eaten in 3 days. Only at that speed would be the medicinal effect be apparent. That was why many disciples would store up hundreds, or even thousands of points to exchange for a huge number of Heavenly Star Sea Merging Pills. 
When they felt that they were about to advance a level, they would buy as many as they could and go into seclusion to attack the next barrier. The Heavenly Star Sea Merging Pill was an important pill for this realm. It could be compared to the Bone Forging Realm's Bone Tempering Pills. These two realms were both realms based on piling up a mountain of medicinal pills. Bang! Long Chen slowly opened his furnace lid. He let out a startled cry. Huo Long, you really are amazing. There were nine pills inside, seven of which were nine ring pills. And this was the result of his first attempt. For other alchemists, just the rate of success in forming the pills would not surpass 30%. Even with his pill god memories, he hadn't thought that he would be able to refine nine ring pills in his first try. Furthermore, there were seven of them. Huo Long flew out of his arm and rubbed against him. It sent him a mental message. That message startled Long Chen. Previously, Long Chen could sense Huo Long's feelings, but this was his first time getting a complete mental message. Although it wasn't very clear, similar to a baby's babbling, he could comprehend the general meaning. Huo Long was expressing that it had grown up and could help Long Chen with some things now. Although it was just an unclear message, it delighted Long Chen. This meant that Huo Long's spirit was fully formed and it could properly communicate. If it possessed a full spirit, it would also possess spiritual strength. When it refined pills in the future, it could use that spiritual strength to increase the quality of the pills. There was no need for Long Chen to be actively refining in order to refine nine ring pills. However, right now, Huo Long's spiritual strength was still very weak. It needed some more time to grow. This discovery delighted Long Chen. After devouring two powerful earth flames, Huo Long was now displaying its terrifying potential. If it could devour more earth flames, it would become his strongest trump card. After calming himself down, Long Chen continued refining. With Huo Long's assistance, his speed increased and he was capable of refining over 10,000 heavenly star sea merging pills in one day. They were basically all nine ring. However, after all that refining, Huo Long needed to rest. Long Chen gave it that time. As for himself, he took advantage of that time to refine medicinal ingredients into powders. In truth, the most time-consuming part of refining a pill was refining the ingredients into powders. Because there were so many ingredients, all of which required different processing, refining a pill was extremely complicated. But there was no way around that. Refining pills was not the same as cooking soup. While he refined the medicinal ingredients, he also consumed a few heavenly star sea merging pills to strengthen his own cultivation base. For half a month, Long Chen refined pills and cultivated like this. As he consumed heavenly star sea merging pills like food, he advanced to the seventh heaven stage of sea expansion. As for the number of heavenly star sea merging pills he had, that number had broken past a hundred thousand, delighting Long Chen. It had to be known that it hadn't cost him a single point to refine all of these. And compared to the heavenly star sea merging pills on the market, the effect of his pills was several times greater. To say that one of his was worth 10 of what was on the market was a bit of an exaggeration, but its effect was definitely no lower than 7 times greater. His pills were just a little bit off from reaching top grade, or he wouldn't be able to advance so quickly. The thing that delighted Long Chen the most was that as Huo Long absorbed the earth flame essence within its body, it suddenly split into two and then from two into four. Long Chen now had four flame dragons. You awakened an ability. Long Chen was shocked by this. He hadn't expected Huo Long to awaken its own abilities as it grew stronger. It was now able to create split bodies, and each one of them was its own body, capable of moving freely. Four flame dragons swam around Long Chen with delight. Huo Long was indescribably excited to have awakened its own innate ability. I wonder, could this work? Long Chen suddenly had a thought and took out another pill furnace. Communicating with one of the flame dragons, he sent it toward the pill furnace. Chapter 1054's Hen Wenlong arrives translator. Born to be Huo Long, you're truly, truly amazing. Long Chen was startled to see that he was able to control any of the flame dragons to help him refine pills, and he could use two at the same time. In his delight, he ran over to Tang Wanur, took the crystal card, bought three more seventh tier furnaces, and tried them all at once. The result was four bangs. And those bangs weren't from the formation of the pills. All four refinements had failed. Long Chen looked at the four flame dragons. The four flame dragons looked back at him. For a long while, no one said a thing. Ah, I really should calm down a bit. Long Chen finally came to the conclusion that both he and Huo Long were too excited. Furthermore, Huo Long had only just managed to split into four. Its control over its split bodies was still rough. 
and there was no way to perform alchemy like that. It would require Long Chen to use a great deal of soul energy to control all four, and right now, he was also too excited, leading to the failure. Such a tumultuous state was not suitable for alchemy, but with this experience, Long Chen quickly adjusted himself. He had to use his spiritual control over the four flame dragons instead of relying on their own control. The results came quickly. The four refinements all succeeded at the same time, with each furnace having nine pills. However, the highest quality pill was only seven ring, while the worst was three ring. Huo Long's intelligence was very high, so it knew this wasn't a good result. But Long Chen said, this is very normal, so don't grumble. We need to work on our cooperation. Since you brought out three more bodies to refine pills at the same time, we'll need some time to raise the quality. Just succeeding in the refinement so quickly is already amazing. Long Chen comforted Huo Long and continued refining with four furnaces. The difficulty of the refinement was high enough, so refining four at the same time was something that would probably be viewed as impossible in the alchemy world. For him to succeed in his second attempt was absolutely shocking. This was the result of their spiritual connection. Long Chen directly consumed the pills of this attempt, treating them as nothing more than a snack before continuing. After 13 tries, Huo Long's control over his flame was growing, and adding in Long Chen's cooperation, they were finally able to refine furnaces full of nine ring pills. For their efficiency to multiply four times delighted Long Chen. Like this, he would be able to easily obtain 40,000 heavenly star sea merging pills in one day, when he wasn't refining pills. He was helping Huo Long rest by helping it absorb the earth flame essence. Another half a month passed. Long Chen had refined over a million heavenly star sea merging pills. After another three days of refining, the number of heavenly star sea merging pills he had accumulated was over 1,300,000, including the 100,000 he had refined before. Only once he was close to 1,400,000 pills did he stop. In this month, Huo Long grew stronger and stronger and its spirituality also rapidly rose. Long Chen suddenly had a thought and handed the process of refining pills to Huo Long on its own. The current Huo Long now had control over its own spiritual strength. Although the pills it refined on its own were of lower quality than when they cooperated, its quality was still high enough. When it refined heavenly star sea merging pills on its own, it could also refine nine ring pills. Although they were no longer close to top grade like when they worked together. They were about the same as the pills sold by the Alchemy Pavilion. Refining pills on its own was taxing to Huo Long's spiritual strength. Long Chen was worried it wouldn't be cautious and told it not to go all out. If it got tired, it could focus on digesting the remaining earth flame energy in its body. With his help, Huo Long had digested the majority of the earth flame energy. He guessed that once Huo Long refined all that energy, it would not be any weaker than the flame leopard. After making sure that Huo Long would rest properly, Long Chen finally came out of seclusion. The city was still peaceful, with everyone following the rules obediently. The law enforcers didn't dare to cause any trouble. The outer sect disciples had become the commoner's guardians. They had completely taken the place of the law enforcers and were able to keep the peace. In fact, some of these outer sect disciples would help the commoners when they had time. They would go out hunting with them to increase their combat experience and teach them survival tricks. After all, just relying on the Zhuanchen Dao sect's rations was like waiting for opportunities to fall into their lap. With Long Chen as an inspiration, the outer sect disciples would bring some young disciples amongst the commoners to go hunting so they could get experience. They could hunt in regions that were less dangerous so their families could eat. When Long Chen came out of seclusion, he felt like the outer sect had gone through a heaven-toppling transformation. The outer sect disciples were now interacting very well with the commoners as if they were a family. Seeing this, Long Chen went directly to the inner sect this time. He saw that the inner sect was basically deserted. There was no longer a sea of people. He guessed that everyone was training during this time because the inner sect competition was about to start. They didn't dare to waste any more time. Boss, you're back. When Long Chen returned, Guo Ran was in the midst of drilling the Dragon Mark Warriors. With a proud expression, he said, Look, what do you think of these brothers now? The Dragon Mark Warriors looked at Long Chen with emotional expressions. Ever since they had consumed the candy Long Chen had fed them, they felt like they had completely transformed. Furthermore, after a month of hellish training, they were finally beginning to release their own light. If they were previously rusty blades, then they had now shed that rust to reveal their sharpness. Excellent. Now you're finally showing your sharpness. 
You won't bring dishonor to the name of the Dragon Mark Warriors, praised Long Chen. After one month, these disciples seemed to be new people. That wasn't just the effect of the bitter earth mortal molting pill. It was definitely related to how Guo Ran and the others had patiently drilled and trained them. This praise made them feel endlessly grateful. For a godlike existence to say a single word of approval to them made their blood heat up. Counting the days, there's still half a month until the competition. I came over this time to give everyone some encouragement. Each person is getting 109 ring heavenly star sea merging pills, said Long Chen. Really, boss, Guo Ran was shocked. It wasn't just Guo Ran who was shocked. Everyone was confused. Didn't that mean each person was using up a hundred points? Weren't all their points sold? How did they still have so many? They were flabbergasted. Long Chen said, as for how they came about, there's no need for you to care. Since I've been called boss by all of you, I won't let my brothers starve. You're all at mid-sea expansion or even lower. These 100 heavenly star sea merging pills are enough for you to rise one realm at least. Although that's not enough for you to compete with those so-called elite geniuses. Due to your transformation through the bitter earth mortal molting pill and your hellish training, your chances of survival on the battlefield have risen a great deal. For this competition, we don't care about our achievements, and we don't care about the rewards. We just have one mission, to stay complete. However many people are going into the competition is how many people I want to see alive in the end. If any of you die, I'll have to charge my way into the netherworld to drag you back. TCH, after eating what's mine and drinking what's mine, do you think you can die like this? Wouldn't your boss have ended up losing out like that? Everyone laughed, but the emotion in Long Chen's words made them feel protected, cherished. Other than that, you don't need to feel inferior compared to those so-called heavenly geniuses. In reality, you should feel like they're the inferior ones. If your positions were switched, they wouldn't necessarily be able to reach the heights you've currently reached. Furthermore, despite the setbacks you encountered, you were still able to persevere. That will be the greatest thing you rely on as you climb toward the peak of the martial path. This is also why your boss says that if you have to suffer, you should suffer as early as possible. The majority of the so-called elites managed to reach their level smoothly like boats floating down a river. But as soon as they stumble, it will be difficult for them to ever climb back up. Cultivation is a marathon, and it's not about who runs the fastest or who runs the handsomest. It's about who can run the farthest. I see self-inferiority in your eyes, so I want you to release that useless feeling from today onward. If you can't find any aspect to be proud of, then just look at me. Just being able to follow me. Long Chen is something worthy of pride. Long Chen patted his chest. Boss, those disciples were all affected emotionally and began to cheer. Although Long Chen didn't like this kind of skill less showing off, there was no way around that. He had to have them build up their own confidence. Someone without any confidence couldn't walk far on the martial path. If they couldn't find their own confidence, then they could just worship him. As long as he didn't fall, their confidence wouldn't shake either. Guo Ran. Distribute the heavenly star sea merging pills. You brat. Do you need a spanking? They aren't candies. Long Chen saw Guo Ran stealthily check the pills he gave him. So he gave him a kick. Each person obtained a hundred heavenly star sea merging pill. That made Long Chen sigh emotionally. As expected, there was not enough meat to go around. Once all these pills were distributed, none of them remained standing here. They quickly went into seclusion to refine the medicinal energy within the heavenly star sea merging pills. For the Dragon Mark Warriors, advancing one realm with a hundred pills was no problem. Even two realms was possible. But for the Dragon Blood Warriors who had advanced to the late stage, advancing would depend on how much they had accumulated beforehand. As soon as the Heavenly Star Sea merging pills were divided, a disciple suddenly came to report that Crouching Dragon Mountain had a visitor. When he saw the Weary's Hen Wenlong arrive, Long Chen finally sighed with relief. I prayed to the stars. I prayed to the moon. And finally, you've come. Chapter 1055 The competition begins translator. Born to be I'm truly sorry, brother Long. Only once I moved to the central plains did I learn what it meant to be a drop in the ocean. I rushed over as soon as I could. I really couldn't tarry with my work. Zhen Wenlong bitterly smiled. Previously, although he had taken a trip to the central plains, it had just been a trip. But this time, he had truly gotten to work and that was when he realized just how terrifying the central plains were. He was in charge of far too many things, and the pressure was like a mountain. Fortunately, he was a capable person. He quickly got a grasp on things, and as soon as he could, he rushed over. 
Just his exhausted expression said everything. As long as you've come, it's good. Damn, you're really doing well for yourself. You have this many expert bodyguards. Only now did Long Chen realize that amongst the dozen people traveling with Zhen Wenlong, there were two kings. While the rest were only at the sea expansion realm, their powerful auras marked them as true experts. These are the sect's protectors. The central plains is full of hidden dragons and crouching tigers. Dangers are everywhere. So these seniors are looking after me so I don't accidentally lose my little life. Zhen Wenlong smiled. Zhen Wenlong's words were worthy of his profession as a businessman. His words were right on point, and Long Chen sighed in admiration inside. Zhen Wenlong's business was growing bigger and bigger. Brother Long, you're doing quite well yourself. As soon as I arrived at the Zhuanchen Dao sect, I asked for you, and everyone knew who you were. This level of fame makes me blush and shame, praised Zhen Wenlong. You're joking. Right now, my situation is so bad that I need you to save me. Come, let's speak inside. Guo Ran, bring these seniors somewhere they can rest. Zhen Wenlong and I have a business to discuss. While Guo Ran led away the people following Zhen Wenlong, Long Chen brought Zhen Wenlong to his private residence. What is it, Brother Long? Is your situation really that bad in the Zhuanchen Dao sect? Asked Zhen Wenlong curiously. I don't want to talk about that tragedy. Getting to business. Is there any news about the medicinal ingredients I asked you to help me find before coming to the Central Plains? Asked Long Chen. I only managed to get three, and there is another portion where there's progress, but gathering them will take some time. The rest I'm still looking for, said Zhen Wenlong. Ashamed, he felt like he had let Long Chen down. Which three? The White Rock Spirit Immortal Grass, the Five Flavor Soul Devouring Flower, and the Lotus Heart Violet Orchid. There are a few others that I've found. But I was in such a hurry to get over here that I didn't have time to get them, said Zhen Wenlong as he took out three jade cases. Long Chen opened one, seeing a white plant that was like coral. It was the white rock spirit immortal grass. Ha ha ha, this is the one I needed the most right now. Brother Wenlong, you've really helped me out. Long Chen was delighted to see this. This white rock spirit immortal grass did not exist within the Zhuanchen Dao sect that wasn't because it was incredibly precious but because people didn't know its true use. Even in the alchemy world, the white rock spirit immortal grass had essentially been discarded as it had no uses. Thus, there were only a few people who knew of its existence. It had no spirituality nor immortal charm. Its name was recorded in ancient texts, but no one knew how to use it. Over time, it had faded from people's sight. As for the other two, Long Chen had managed to obtain the Lotus Heart Violet Orchid in the Zhuanchen Dao sect. But he hadn't gotten the five flavor soul devouring flower. The five flavor soul devouring flower wasn't a medicine, it was poison. It was extremely easy to recognize because there would always be a pile of corpses on top of it. As soon as beasts got near it, their souls would be absorbed, and thus it was famed for its viciousness. If a person wasn't strong enough, they wouldn't dare to pick it. These two new finds were extremely useful to Long Chen, especially the white rock spirit immortal grass. Within his pill god memories, there was a kind of medicinal pill known as the Spirit Immortal Foundation Building Pill. It was an 8th tier medicinal pill that allowed sea expansion disciples to directly advance to foundation forging. That was a heaven-defying effect, and it had essentially vanished from the outside world. Long Chen had gone through the 10,000 pill halls medicinal pills, and there was no such pill. And so there was naturally no white rock spirit immortal grass in the sect either. I'm glad I could help, to tell the truth. Just bringing these three things makes me feel embarrassed. Zhen Wenlong smiled bitterly. Just these three things have helped me out of an emergency. Also, I've gathered quite a few middle grade spirit stones during this time. So help me use them to buy king item materials, said Long Chen. Materials for king items? Those things are very expensive. How many spirit stones do you have? Asked Zhen Wenlong. 60 billion. How? How many? Long Chen gave a simple recount of how he had exchanged points for spirit stones. Spirit stones are basically common currency with no actual value in the Zhuanchen Dao sect, like copper coins. Brother Wenlong, help me buy king item materials in bulk. I need to equip my faction. How much do you need? Asked Zhen Wenlong. As much as possible. I want to equip 13,000 warriors with armor made of king item materials, said Long Chen. You're crazy. How much money would that take? Even if you spent all 60 billion on material, you probably wouldn't even be able to buy a tenth, said Zhen Wenlong. That's fine. 
I don't want true king items. I just want the materials to have reached that level. That little fellow Guo Ran is advancing at breakneck speed every day in the item forging pavilion. He needs to train with king item materials. Rather than having him practice over and over again with the little bit of materials they give him, it's better for me to buy a large batch of materials and have him practice while actually making things. By the time he finishes 13,000 sets of armor, his apprenticeship should be about finished. Then he'll be able to forge real king items, said Long Chen. Guo Ran was being very hardworking these days. Other than drilling the Dragon Mark Warriors, he was studying in the item forging pavilion. Guo Ran was viewed importantly by the item forging pavilion. They doted on him, and whenever he didn't understand something, a teacher would come by to help. His talent in this regard was exceedingly high, and he was clever, knowing how to fawn and suck up. Quite a few teachers favored him, which allowed his forging arts to advance by leaps and bounds. However, he was limited by the rules of the sect each disciple could only be given a limited amount of materials to practice with. Furthermore, if they managed to forge something good, they had to hand it over for inspection, and only then would they be given a new batch of materials. For a forging madman like Guo Ran to have to wait for them to evaluate his results before giving him new materials was torture. But the Dragonblood Legion didn't have leftover points for Guo Ran to exchange for more materials. In the item forging pavilion, Guo Ran saw many things he had never thought about before. He had countless thoughts and ideas now, but he needed materials to test those ideas. Compared to other people, Guo Ran's forging table was completely heaven defying. As long as he had spirit stones, he could refine any material. Right now, he had the skill, the capability, but not the materials. All right. King items are so precious because of the high failure rate in refining them, and in comparison, their materials are more reasonably priced, said Shen Wenlong. I'll need an ocean's worth of materials in the future. Sorry for causing you so much trouble. Perhaps I'll end up owing you quite a bit in the short term. But don't worry, as long as I don't die, I'll double your investment, said Long Chen. Where did that come from? You were my first personal investment, and the only reason I have reached my current level is because of you. We're both benefiting, but we bear the danger together as well. When I get back, I'll definitely work hard on handling your matter. So don't worry about it. Will you run into any obstructions when you come to the Zuanshan Deo sect? No, my Huaian sect has ties with all the large powers. At least on the surface, we're all friendly. As long as I show my badge, no one will hinder me from entering the Zuanshan Deo sect however. Their big business isn't something a rookie like me who has only just come to the Central Plains can participate in. Good. Fuck. It's only been two months, and I have only made a few friends, while I have enemies everywhere. Sighed Long Chen. Isn't that perfectly in accordance with your style? Zhen Wenlong couldn't help but smile. The two of them looked at each other and laughed. Back then when they had met in the Jiuli secret realm, wasn't Long Chen also surrounded by enemies? Thinking of their first encounter. They felt a wave of emotion. Time flew by quickly. After sending off Shen Wenlong, Long Chen returned to the outer sect. He didn't even get a chance to see Tang Wan or, because listening to his orders, she was constantly cultivating in the training region. According to her, the wind attribute training region was a huge cave. There were low, middle, high, and top grade training rooms in there. There was powerful wind energy inside, and through absorbing it, it was possible to raise one's comprehension of the wind attribute. Cultivating in there was much faster than elsewhere. Outer sect disciples were given 10 days a month to train in a low-grade training room for free. Inner sect disciples could enter middle-grade training rooms for free, while core disciples could enter high-grade training rooms for free. Each increase in grade resulted in 10 times the amount of energy in the training room. The cost in points for each increase in grade also increased 10 times. Low-grade training rooms cost 1 point a day. Middle-grade ones 10 points. High grade ones a hundred points, and top grade ones a thousand points. This was the benefit of being an inner sect disciple. Cultivating for one day was equivalent to ten points, which was a month's income for an outer sect disciple. As for the high grade training rooms, it cost an incredible amount of points. Tang Wanner had entered a top grade training room a few times, and she found that cultivating inside was incredibly quick and relaxing. Her power advanced at an unbelievable pace. However, she didn't have enough points to go in often, so most of her time was spent in middle grade training rooms. Days passed by as everyone was busy increasing their strength. Finally, the day came when all the inner sect disciples were gathered. Today was the B-monthly competition for the inner sect disciples. 
This would determine the rankings and distributed rewards for the six factions. For them, it was a struggle for resources. Chapter 1056 Move Your Fists, Not Your Mouths Translator Born to be the Intersect Disciples were gathered in the Intersect Plaza. The six factions 200-some thousand disciples were all present. Only the Combat Disciples were present. The Support Disciples and Inheritance Disciples were not amongst them. After two months apart, the Disciples all sensed immense changes in their fellows. They had all greatly improved during these two months in the Zuanshan Dao sect ignoring everything else. Just the fact that they could enter the middle grade training grounds free of charge allowed them to profit immensely. In comparison, the Dragonblood Legion's side was lacking. Although the majority of people had advanced a level, the majority of them were stuck in the mid-stage of sea expansion. In terms of cultivation base, that was the bottom level amongst the six factions. Furthermore, they hadn't gone to the training grounds, as they hadn't had the time. They had always been undergoing hellish training on Crouching Dragon Mountain. Although their auras weren't very powerful, there was an icy, murderous aura present now that made them like sharp blades. When Long Chen brought the Dragonblood Legion over, everyone looked at him. Hua Shiyu had a slightly complicated expression in her eyes. She had disliked all men in her life, but she didn't find him so loathsome. Beside her was Xiao Ziyan. It looked like she was enveloped in water, as if she was merged with the world. She had clearly reached the realm of merging with heaven and earth. Hua Shiyu had spent an exorbitant sum to allow Xiao Ziyan to go through a baptism. Xiao Ziyan was no longer the old Xiao Ziyan. She now had the qualifications to be called an expert. It wasn't just Xiao Ziyan. Han Yunshan, Wei Changhe, and Yan Machen had gone through the same kind of baptism and reached the realm of merging with heaven and earth. Only once they reached that realm did they truly understand just how weak they had been before. Seeing Long Chen arrive, the three of them glared at him. Back then, Long Chen had caused them to lose a great deal of face. A big idiot leading a pack of small idiots. I'm looking forward to seeing how many of them die in the competition, sneered Han Yunshan. Hopefully, they don't whine and wail when the time comes. As fellow intersect disciples, it'd be an insult to us. Yan Machen followed along. They caused their own destruction. When they exchanged their points for spirit stones, they wasted the best opportunity to raise their power. The leader is an idiot, implicating all the others. Can such a person even be called a commander? Wei Chang-hei spat on the ground contemptuously. The Dragonblood warriors were infuriated. They could tolerate it if others wanted to insult them. But as soon as someone insulted Long Chen, their killing intent soared. Even the Icy Wang's hen frowned slightly upon hearing this. These words were going too far. Kill him. The Dragon Mark warriors weren't able to stay as cool-headed as the Dragonblood warriors. Their fury instantly erupted and they had to be stopped by Guo Ran. Long Chen had already slowly walked forward to Wei Chang He. Seeing Long Chen approach him, Wei Chang He could feel his heart pounding, and he involuntarily retreated a few steps. But then he quickly realized he was no longer his old self. He was also a heavenly genius who had merged with heaven and earth. Why did he have to be afraid of him? Then thinking of how he had been involuntarily retreating in front of everyone, he felt embarrassed. Therefore, he advanced forward with a disdainful expression. Fan Song, Hu Gishan, and Xinian simply watched, waiting to see Long Chen being humiliated. This was their mission, as well as something they were happy to do. What? Did you want to say something? Are you not precisely garbage? Sneered Wei Chang He. But what startled people was that Long Chen had no intention of opening his mouth. He merely raised a single hand. Pow! In front of everyone's flabbergasted eyes, Long Chen's palm struck Wei Chang He's face with great power. As for Wei Chang He, he seemed like an idiot. He didn't even try to dodge or resist, and simply allowed Long Chen's slap to send him flying. It wasn't that Wei Chang He hadn't wanted to dodge. The truth was that as soon as he had wanted to dodge, he suddenly realized this slap sealed off all possible paths of retreat. Long Chen's slap had reached such a realm that it caused a misperception. It looked slow, but it actually was as quick as lightning. By the time he reacted, he had been cleanly struck. Just as Wei Chang He had been mocking Long Chen, he was sent flying, his teeth sparkling through the air as they tumbled to the ground. Do you see? Learn from our boss. If you can move your fists, don't move your mouths. Your men who can stand while pissing, not cough. Cough. Guo Ran had just been in the midst of lecturing the Dragon Mark warriors when he suddenly felt an icy gaze like two blades. He immediately became covered in sweat. Not, not, not everything is worth worrying about. All you have to do is listen to boss and everything will be fine. 
Guo Ran hastily changed what he was about to say, and only then did the feeling of two blades pressing against his back fade. Only now did he dare to turn around and stealthily glance at the distant Hua Shiyu. She was glaring at him, the warning in her eyes clear. Long Chen, you're asking for it. Long Chen's slap was like poking the hornet's nest. Hu Gishan, Fan Song, and Xinian immediately roared and charged over, surrounding him. Bloodrinker was already resting on Long Chen's shoulder, and his divine ring appeared. Killing intent overflowed from his eyes. You should go cultivate for a few more lifetimes if you want to humiliate me. I don't care what illness you have. If you don't submit, let's fight. Submit, or fight. Kill them. The dragon blood legion also charged over. All the disciples taking out their weapons. Everyone else became flabbergasted. Was this the intersect competition? Or the intersect war? I really admire you all. You're still so bored as to fight. A cold shout suddenly rang out, startling everyone. Looking up, they saw a long-haired man standing in the air. He was wearing battle robes covered in blood. He had dozens of cuts on his body where blood still continued to drip from. Senior Apprentice Brother Sumo. Everyone jumped in shock. This was the senior disciple Sumo who had led them to the intersect trial in the first place. Although he was covered in blood, his aura was still steady and his expression was as cold as ever. But looking at their current state, a slightly helpless expression appeared on his face. I'm pressed for time. After I take you to your trial, I still have to return to the battlefield. Don't waste my time and prepare yourselves, ordered Sumo coldly. Senior apprentice brother Sumo, it was Long Chen who went too far. He beat an innocent person, breaking the sect's rules. He should lose his qualifications to participate in the competition, said Hu Gishan. Seeing Sumo look at him, Long Chen indifferently said, There was someone who dirtied the plaza with their shit. What I was doing was protecting the sect's cleanliness. Bullshit. Who was taking a shit? Roared Wei Chang He furiously. But after saying this, he suddenly saw many people looking oddly at him. It seemed that when he had provoked Long Chen before, he had spat on the ground. I don't have time to listen to your nonsense. This kind of trivial matter can be left to the law enforcers. Return to your factions. I'm going to explain the rules. And if anyone dares to interrupt again, they can fuck off. Said Sumo slightly angrily. Only then did everyone return to their factions. Although Sumo was just a disciple from the senior generation, and his cultivation base was only one realm higher than theirs, his killing intent was too frightening. He seemed like a murderous devil. It was unknown when he would start taking people's lives. Facing Sumo gave them more pressure than facing elders. Sumo announced, Listen closely. The competition is basically the same as your previous trial, but the number of devil beasts has doubled. I don't need to explain what you need to do. However, this time, there is no finish line, but a time limit. What you are competing in is the number of devil beasts you kill. That will determine the ranking of your faction. First place will obtain 5 million points. The commander will be allowed to use a top-grade training room for 10 days, while the faction members will be allowed to use a high-grade training room for 10 days free of charge. Second place will obtain 3 million points. The commander will be allowed to use a top-grade training room for 5 days, while the faction members will be allowed to use a high-grade training room for 5 days free of charge. Third place will obtain 2 million points. The commander will be allowed to use a top-grade training room for 3 days while the faction members will be allowed to use a high-grade training room for three days free of charge. Fourth place will obtain one million points. The commander will be allowed to use a top-grade training room for two days, while the faction members will be allowed to use a high-grade training room for two days free of charge. Fifth place will obtain 500,000 points. The commander will be allowed to use a top-grade training room for one day, while the faction members will be allowed to use a high-grade training room for one day free of charge. Last place does not get any reward. Everyone's heart shook. The difference between first and second place was so immense. Was that intentional? Did they want them to go all out fighting for it? As for last place, there was no reward. This competition would determine life and death. Once the results of this competition were out, the difference between first and last place would be as great as heaven and earth. Distribute these bracelets. While you wear them, the devil beasts you kill will be recorded and it will be easy to calculate your total points. Sumo tossed a spatial ring at Long Chen and the others. They were refined bracelets similar to arm guards inside. Currently, they all had one number on them, zero. It was clear it would only change once they killed a devil beast. Once everyone put them on, Sumo waved his hand. Runes lit up on the bricks beneath everyone's feet. 
and they felt the space twist. They were transported to a dark and gloomy world. As soon as their feet touched the ground, an ear-splitting row rang out and countless devil beasts charged toward them like a flood. Chapter 1057 Drilling Formations Translator Born to be the three-meter-tall devil beasts flooded over them. The disciples were in a barren land that stretched as far as they could see. An aura of decay filled the air, and this barren land was covered in innumerable devil beasts. Eight-point flying star, Guo Ran shouted, and all the Dragonblood Legion's disciples quickly formed an eight-sided formation. On each point was a powerful Dragonblood warrior. This was one of the most important formations they had been drilling during this time. It was also one of the most foundational formations for a large-scale chaotic battle. When they drilled it normally, they did it very well. But now that they were facing countless devil beasts, it was impossible that they wouldn't be worried. As a result, one person's panic led to another's panic, and the entire formation was in chaos. Guo Ran's expression darkened, and he was just about to scold them when he was held back by Long Chen. Don't scold them. This is something they have to go through. You also had to go through countless life and death battles to temper your current will. They're still lacking in that regard. So don't make your requirements so demanding. Long Chen shook his head and beckoned to Tang Wan'er. Tang Wan'er had been waiting, and she formed hand seals. A sea of wind blades formed around the Dragonblood Legion, and any devil beasts that touched her barrier were instantly blown to bits. Brothers, don't panic. There's still time. If you're thirsty, you can have a drink first said Long Chen. Hearing Long Chen's voice, those panicking dragon mark warriors all felt ashamed, but the joking tone made some of their nervousness fade. Beauty Wan'er is mighty. Long Chen gave Tang Wan'er a thumbs up. Her wind blades were incredibly powerful now. Each one of them was comparable to a treasure item, and for there to be millions and millions of them was truly powerful. Who asked for your praise? snorted Tang Wan'er, but the pleased expression in her eyes proved that Long Chen really did need to have praised her. Although the formation was chaotic below, after putting down their nervousness and fear, they quickly found their places. Brothers, are you ready? asked Long Chen. Boss, we're ready, cried the Dragon Mark warriors, their morale soaring. They didn't know why, but just hearing Long Chen's voice made their fighting spirit soar. One or, release the defenses. The festival of carnage starts now. Kill. When Tang Wan or slowly released her wind blades. The devil beasts she had been holding back immediately crashed down upon them. The dragon mark warriors attacked, slaughtering them. The devil beasts were cut to pieces, their black blood dyeing the ground. Fools, if you were going to fight like this, what would be the point of the formation? Have you forgotten how to cushion the formation? You'll save the most energy that way and be able to fight longer, cried Guo Ran. He directed them to make adjustments, while Long Chen and Tang Wan Er didn't say anything. The mission Long Chen had given Tang Wan'er was to protect everyone. If someone was accidentally injured and looked like they were in danger, she would go save them. 73-56. You've already gone out of the formation. If you keep running, you'll reach the Martial Heaven Sea Ring. 86-91. As you attack, you have to take note of the others. Don't fight over the enemies, as there's nothing to fight about. 12-35-7. Pay attention to how far you are from the people on your left and right. Stay close to maintain equilibrium. Guo Ran was constantly sending out orders from the air. Because the number of dragon mark warriors who had joined all at once was too great, there was no way for them to remember so many names. Long Chen had suddenly thought to give everyone a belt with a number on it. That would make commanding them easier. Long Chen, how about I go out and kill some on my own? Otherwise, we'll definitely be last place. Tang Wan'er looked toward the other factions and saw that they had already charged into the distance. There were countless high-level devil beasts there. She had noticed that the numbers on their bracelets were crazily leaping by twos. When she killed devil beasts, she had seen that these ordinary devil beasts were only worth one kill point, and the more powerful ones were worth more. The devil beasts the other factions were killing were worth two points each. Don't compete with them. For this competition, the only goal is drilling the troops. We aren't truly fighting over rankings. The Dragon Mark Warriors need more tempering, and we can't be too impatient. Furthermore, don't you see that as they greedily charge forward, their people are constantly being killed? Long Chen shook his head. I can go out on my own. We can get more kill points like that, said Tang Wan'er eagerly. Long Chen didn't say anything. He just looked at the Dragon Mark Warriors that were constantly fighting down below. Long Chen, are you angry? Tang Wan'er felt like something was wrong. Yes, a bit. Sorry. Tang Wan'er apologized. 
She knew that as the commander of the Dragonblood Legion, Long Chen didn't like others ruining his plans and deployments. Wan Er, you're a good girl. Now you're powerful. And when you see a heroine like Hua Xiaoyu leading her people, you want to compete with her, said Long Chen. Tang Wan Er immediately blushed with shame. His words had gotten right to the bottom of her heart. In truth, she was a very competitive woman. That was related to her wind attribute. She had a toughness that refused to admit defaturing she wouldn't compete with Long Chen, nor would she compete with Men Qi, Chu Yao, Yu Xiaokian, or Ye Hikyu. But that didn't mean she wasn't competitive. It was simply that her competitiveness had always been suppressed. Now Hua Xiaoyu's appearance had given her a fierce desire to compete to prove herself. Wan Er, I can excuse your toughness. If you want to be deliberately provocative, I can forgive that too because I like you. But sometimes, you should be clear on things. Since I've admitted the Dragon Mark Warriors, that means I treat each one of them as a brother. The loss of any one of them would pain me. And if they fell because of your willfulness, then I don't know how I would face you, said Long Chen solemnly. Sorry, Long Chen. I was wrong. I'll listen to you. So don't get angry, said Tang Wan Er with a trembling voice. That was because Long Chen had always allowed her to be willful or petty, no matter what she did. He would just smile and laugh it off. He had never said such solemn words to her. Thinking of that possibility, she felt a burst of fear. She scolded herself for not being thoughtful enough. In order to fight for ranking, she had been willing to place the Dragon Mark Warriors' lives in danger. Long Chen rubbed her head and smiled. Foolish girl, I wouldn't get angry with you. I'm just afraid. I'm afraid of losing you. Long Chen. Tang Wan Er teared up. In truth, it wasn't that she wasn't thoughtful enough but that her wind attribute had decided this part of her character. All right, foolish girl, focus on looking after everyone. Once they get familiar with the formation, we'll advance. Seeing that Long Chen really wasn't angry, Tang Wan Er smiled and wiped away her tears. She focused on looking after the entire Dragonblood Legion. Long Chen was right to be worried. With so many new people, there would definitely be flaws in their cooperation. And the bigger the formation, the more flaws there would be. Just this simple eight-point flying star formation was difficult for them. Learning to take advantage of the formation's power and being able to switch from offense to defense without showing openings took a long time for them. The battlefield could change instantly, and just one formation was not enough to deal with all situations. When Guo Ran gave the order to switch to a second formation, one that they had drilled tirelessly before, confusion once more appeared, but it was much better than the first time. There were only a few dozen mistakes this time, and with Tang Wan Er's assistance, those mistakes were quickly made up for. Then they began to constantly switch formations. After two hours, their formations were no longer so stiff. They became flexible, capable of advancing or retreating, attacking or defending. During this time, Tang Wan Er played a critical role. Her wind blades were in the air, and as soon as someone was in danger of dying, she would instantly go save them. There was no need for Long Chen or Guo Ran to interfere. At the same time, Gu Yang, Song Mingguan, and Li Qi were the pillars at the center of the formation. They controlled the direction of the formation. Right now, there was no other way as they had to help organize everyone. Only once everyone was accustomed to this could they continue being the sharp blades of the Dragonblood Legion. Right now, they had to stay in their sheaths. As for Guo Ran, he was constantly giving out directions and orders. As he rapidly changed the formations, it revealed the growth of the Dragonblood Legion. With a goddess like Tang Wan Er guarding them, Long Chen ordered everyone to begin pushing forward. The other five factions had already begun crazily slaughtering the Devil Beasts. At one point, Long Chen saw a flame beast running rampant through the Devil Beasts. There was a familiar person standing on its head. So he actually obtained another Earth Flame, and it seems quite powerful. Long Chen was shocked. I heard he spent 3 million points to exchange for it. It seems to rank somewhere in the 60s on the Earth Flame rankings. It's so powerful that it caused Xinian's power to rise even greater than it was before. You have to be careful of him, boss, said Guo Ran. How could that idiot have so much money? Did he spend all his people's points? Long Chen was a bit flabbergasted. The Flame Gate had over 30,000 disciples. If all their points were gathered, it truly was possible to gather 3 million but not everyone was as loyal as the Dragon Mark Warriors. I've heard that the law enforcement hall helped him. They seemed to have lent him the points, said Guo Ran. Only then did Long Chen understand. He doubted that they had lent him the points. The law enforcement hall had probably directly given them to him. 
As Xenion had lost his earth flames because he had targeted him, they had given him compensation to avoid him being bitter with them. Long Chen thought about it for a moment and summoned Huo Long. He stealthily gave it a few directions, having Huo Long as the vanguard for everyone as they continued forward. Chapter 1058 Bringing out their power translator, born to be within the Elder Hall. The Hall Master and the Elders were calmly looking at the screen in front of them. There were six marks with numbers beside them, and those numbers were constantly rising. These were the total kill points of the six factions. The disciples were unable to see each faction's total kill points, and only the people here could see them. The law enforcement hall is truly extravagant. They directly bought an earth flame for Xenion. This scarlet blood flame is ranked 73rd on the earth flame rankings and cost 3 million points. With my income, he, I'd need 300 years to be able to buy such a thing, said one of the elders with a bitter smile. The elder hall did not have any corrupt people. They were incorruptible carrying out their duties with unquestionable integrity. None of them would accept bribes, and as a result, they were all poor to the point that the few coins they had jingled in their pockets. They couldn't help but feel emotional seeing Xenion with a new earth flame. The law enforcement hall was different. There were many times when disciples or elders who had committed a mistake had landed in their hands, and without paying a little extra, they wouldn't have been released. Who asked them to make a mistake in the first place? If that happened, all their possessions would be confiscated. And because of this, the law enforcement hall had the ability to pay its disciples very well, and many disciples wanted to join them. Not only would they get a steady payment, but they would also have a powerful backer. Don't whine. When each of you joined the elder hall, I told you that the elder hall is the poorest place, as well as the richest place. It just depends on how you see life, said the hall master. Sorry, disciple wasn't complaining. It's simply that the law enforcement hall we just have to do our own work. The Zuan master has his own plans, and we don't need to worry about them. All you need to know is that no matter what comes, the elder hall will always be the foundation of the Zuan Chindeo sect no one can shake our position. As for the law enforcement hall, he, did you not see that after that little fellow Long Chen arrived, the spiritless Zuan Chindeo sect has started to bustle with noise and excitement, laughed the hall master. Everyone looked at each other. It seemed that it really was the case. How many years had it been that generation after generation of disciples had been processed according to the prescribed order without anything new happening? This was their first time seeing a marvel like Long Chen. This Long Chen is truly worthy of admiration. As a worker, he managed to become a figure on the level of a savior to the outer sect. I heard that practically all the youngsters treat him as an idol, and all the outer sect's disciples have to treat him respectfully. His influence in the outer sect is astonishing, sighed an elder. The times create the heroes. The only reason Long Chen has it so good in the outer sect is because of the law enforcement hall. However, it goes without saying that his charisma is powerful. Many youngsters feel their blood heating up just by hearing a few words from him. Furthermore, he truly treats his people well. We can see that he's a good commander, but not a great one, said an elder. The hall master nodded. Your words are very reasonable. He has great charisma that allows all these disciples to unite, but he is affected by his emotions too much, meaning he is often impetuous. He does willful things, so he can't count as an amazing commander. But you've forgotten one thing. Long Chen views the world from the viewpoint of a cultivator. He has to maintain that unyielding heart that advances no matter what. Being overcautious and constantly scheming will not only exhaust a lot of time and energy, but it will also make a person indecisive. We shouldn't use our own viewpoint to judge Long Chen. We can't try to change him into a great commander just because we need one. That is essentially using our own yardstick to judge others, and that creates a great deal of bias. Furthermore, once we have this yardstick in our hearts, we won't be able to see things beyond the yardstick. That is not in accordance with the principles of the Elder Hall. Hearing this, the Elder's hearts shook, especially the Elder who had just spoken. He hastily said, Disciple was too strongly attached to his preconceptions. Many thanks for your enlightenment. The hall master nodded and smiled slightly. I can understand what you're thinking. You're all hoping for someone with charisma like Long Chen to become an amazing commander. But how do you know he doesn't have any other talents other than being a commander? Perhaps if he focused on other aspects, his accomplishments would be even greater than if he was a commander. Sometimes, good intentions are not necessarily able to create good results. What we need to do is to provide them with fertile soil for their dreams to grow and give them the help they need. But we can't try to change them. 
We can't let our disciples astray. Other than that, the Zuan master himself is paying attention to Long Chen. There's no need for us to worry about this matter. Just keep a steady heart. Yes, cried all the elders. Has that child Sumo left? Asked the hall master. Yes, after sending them in, he went directly to the infernal devil abyss, said Li Changfang. Sumo and King Suan are good children. Amongst the talented disciples of the previous generation, they're the only two willing to stay within the elder hall. Just talking about it makes me feel ashamed. Instead of giving them any benefits, we're forced to make them win face for us, sighed the hall master. Hall master, don't be concerned. In my opinion, Long Chen will also stay in the elder hall, said Li Changfang. I know, but that little fellow is too unreliable. If he didn't cause any trouble for a day, I'd suspect it was an imposter. The hall master bitterly smiled. The others also had bitter smiles. Long Chen's ability to cause trouble could be rated as number one beneath the heavens. He had already broken quite a few trouble-causing records in the Zhuangshan Dao sect however, this time it'll probably be troublesome for Long Chen. His faction's kill points are far too low. They're only at 300,000, said an elder gravely. The elder hall viewed Long Chen as one of their people now. Hu Gishan, Xinian, and Fan Song had already been bought by the law enforcement hall. It was fated for them to not be on the same side as the Elder Hall, as for Hua Shiyu and Wang Zhen. For now, it seemed they had no intention to choose a side for now. They just wanted to cultivate, and they were still indifferent to other people's enticements. In reality, the Zhuangshan Dao sect had quite a few departments that were pulling in elite disciples to continue their inheritance. It could be likened to sponsoring. The large departments would give them greater assistance, while they would also work for their respective departments. As for the Elder Hall, its integrity made it poor. Joining the Elder Hall basically didn't have any benefits to speak of, so for Sumo and Mu Kingsuan to join them was already a great show of support from them. The Dragonblood Legion's 300,000 kill points were last, while the first place was already past 6 million. It was the Divine Beast Mansion led by Hu Gishan. Hu Gishan, Han Yanshan, and Wei Changhe were unleashing shocking magical arts. Each one of their moves killed a wave of devil beasts allowing their points to constantly soar. The second place was the Hegemon Hall. Fan Song and Yan Machen were unstoppable as they charged forward. Hua Shiyu's Heaven Female Alliance was third. Although they also had to rank five Celestials who had reached the realm of merging with Heaven and Earth, because they were worried about their faction's coordination, they didn't unleash huge moves. So their kill points were slightly lower than the Hegemon Hall. The fourth and fifth place were Xinian's Flame Gate and Wang Zhen's 10,000 Insect Guild respectively. Xinian had summoned a powerful Earth Flame Beast. The Scarlet Blood Flame ranked 73rd on the Earth Flame rankings. It had transformed into a huge tiger and didn't even look like it was formed of flames. Instead, it seemed to form of countless blood-colored runes. When its feet touched the ground, blood-colored flames would erupt and wipe out any devil beasts they touched. When it opened its mouth, it unleashed huge flame spheres that blew apart any devil beasts it touched. Its killing power was extremely terrifying. As for Wang Zhen, he had not only summoned a sea of insects, but he had also summoned hundreds of thousands of golden beetles the size of a rhinoceros. Those golden beetles had huge pincers, and wherever they went, those pincers would exterminate any devil beasts caught in their grasps. Furthermore, these golden beetles were covered in a hard carapace that allowed them to completely ignore the attacks of the devil beasts. The hundreds of thousands of golden beetles were like war chariots mowing down their enemies. But despite the two of them having such sharp attacks, they were unable to catch up to the other factions. The difference in the number of rank 5 celestial heavenly geniuses was apparent. Sometimes, just the number on the surface isn't enough. There are more subtle numbers. Although the Divine Beast Mansion is first right now, the number of their casualties is over 300, which is also number one. As for Long Chen's Dragonblood Legion, they've maintained a zero casualty count this entire time. The Zhuangshan Dao sect has its disciples form factions to groom their leadership capabilities, to be short-sighted and seek only instant benefit without caring about the deaths of one's subordinate is also not the quality of a commander. The Hall Master shook his head. Other than the Dragonblood Legion, casualties had appeared in all five other factions. The Divine Beast Mansion had the greatest casualties because their three peak experts had charged to the very front to kill devil beasts, while the people behind them were unable to keep up. They didn't pay any attention to those lagging disciples, leading to casualties. As they continued to advance further, the casualties increased. There's still an incense sticks worth of time. 
Dragonblood Legion is still at just 800,000 points. That's 8 million away from the 10,000 Insect Guild. Looks like there's no suspense about their ranking, said an elder. But that's within reason. After all, the Dragonblood Legion recruited so many weak newcomers, causing their average combat power to plummet. To maintain zero casualties is already praiseworthy, said another elder. He felt Long Chen's decision to be very wise. These people needed time to grow, rather than throwing them into battle to go all out. Slowly tempering them was better. Furthermore, even if they went all out, they should consider their power. With it, they wouldn't be able to outcompete the others. So when they thought about it, this was the best option for them. Hmm? The Dragonblood Legion is changing formations. Are they about to attack? The Elder's expression suddenly changed. Chapter 1059 Not Possessing Good Memory Translator Born to be 8-point flying star Following Guo Ran's shout, the Dragonblood Legion instantly switched formations, forming an 8-sided formation similar to a shuriken. It was completely different from the beginning. After 4 hours of drilling, all the disciples were able to take their places accurately and quickly. There were no more mistakes. Boss, you should encourage them a bit, said Guo Ran. Can't you do it? Long Chen frowned. No, when it comes to raising morale, you're the pro, said Guo Ran. Fine. Long Chen took a deep breath and clearly shouted, Brothers, the warm-up is over. Now it's time to show your youthfulness and hot blood. Go all out. Let the earth bear witness to your courage. Let the sky feel your determination. Let the world quiver because of your existence. Let those idiots who look down on you see what a true battle is. Brothers, raise your weapons. Use the devil beasts in front of you as your stepping stones. From today onward, we advance without retreat. The name of the Dragon Blood Legion will resound throughout every corner of the Central Plains. Brothers, kill. Long Chen's voice resounded in the air, his voice growing louder and louder. Toward the end, it caused heaven and earth to rumble, and it was like crashing waves. How moving. Even I feel like my blood's heating up. The elders in the Elder Hall all involuntarily felt a burst of excitement. Long Chen's voice made them think of when they were young, when they had fought on the battlefield. Kill. The Dragonblood Legion's warriors roared, their eyes red. Eight-point flying star. Hurricane slaughter. Following Guo Ran's shout, the formation began to spin, going faster and faster. The formation was like eight spinning blades that slaughtered any devil beasts they encountered. Now the importance of the core of the formation was revealed. Standing at the center of the formation, Gu Yang advanced at a steady pace, setting the rhythm of the entire formation. A huge shuriken rapidly advanced through the battlefield with terrifying killing power. One or, the formation is complete. Go ahead with your slaughter, said Long Chen. Tang Wan Er delightedly summoned her wind blades, which filled the sky, and she rushed forward. There was no need for her to do anything personally. Just the wind blades surrounding her could destroy any devil beasts around her. Behind her was Long Chen's Huo Long, and behind Huo Long was the Dragon Blood Legion. Tang Wan Er rushed off, forming a straight path dozens of meters wide. Then Huo Long came and widened that path to a few hundred meters. When the Dragon Blood Legion passed, the path was forced to widen once more. If one could observe them from the sky, they would see that their path was completely straight. Their efficiency was frightening. That Long Chen really knows how to play. How did he think of such a bizarre way to push forward? The elders were startled. This method was the most effective and energy-saving way to push forward. Each bit of combat power was used perfectly without the slightest waste. The Dragonblood Legion's kill points were jumping crazily. I wonder if Long Chen can catch up to the 10,000 Insect Guild. Now that really is hard to say. If they can maintain this speed, there really is the possibility of a reversal. But the Devil Beasts ahead of them are much stronger. Just as the elders were guessing about the results, the Dragonblood Legion had already advanced hundreds of miles from their starting point. They had arrived at the core of the battlefield, and the Devil Beasts here were much stronger, but their value was also greater. The Wind's Fury, Exploding Blades. Tang Wan'er's blood key suddenly erupted as she activated her spirit blood. The wind blades around her became dark red. Although these Devil Beasts were stronger than the ones on the edge of the battlefield, making their defensive strength extremely great. Now that Tang Wan'er had activated her spirit blood, she still killed them instantly. What pure energy, and what precise control. The elders burst into praise. Following Tang Wan'er, Huo Long roared and unleashed its power. Flame runes erupted from it, incinerating any devil beasts to nothingness. The main reason this was possible was because Tang Wan'er was at the front opening the path, reducing the pressure on it greatly. The Dragonblood Legion's warriors needed no reminder. 
They all roared and unleashed their full power. They knew that they had reached the core of the battlefield. The other factions were also present, charging through this region. The Dragonblood Legion had finally reached the same playing field and were competing against them. These people had all looked down on them previously, but now their formation was able to kill devil beasts even faster than the heavenly geniuses they looked up to, shocking them. That made the Dragon Mark warriors prouder and fiercer. Their attacks grew even more ferocious. They were like a pack of tigers and wolves. Wherever they went, the devil beasts were slaughtered. This kind of efficiency shocked the other factions. HMPH. Even after devouring my two earth flames, it's still trash. Xinian sneered at Huo Long. He saw that Long Chen's flame dragon was still not very strong even after devouring two of his earth flames. At its current power, it definitely wouldn't enter the top 90 of the earth flame rankings. But with Tang Wan'er opening the path at the front, Huo Long widening it behind her, and the Dragon Blood Legion committing a large scale slaughter, their battle tactic was extremely refined. It was safe, fast, and painless making others envious. As Tang Wan'er led them through the Devil Beasts, their points crazily increased. Their efficiency was extremely high. They're just shy of surpassing the 10,000 Insect Guild. The elders were all watching with anticipation. Time's almost up. About 20 breaths left. It's hard to say if they can pull it off. But what is Long Chen doing? He's not doing anything. If he had started fighting earlier, he would definitely have caught up to the 10,000 Insect Guild. The elders couldn't understand why Long Chen was just standing in the air, watching. If it had just been to look after the Dragonblood Legion in the beginning, that was not a mistake. However, his faction was already on the right track, but he still didn't do anything. It couldn't be that he's too lazy to compete because he thinks there's no chance, right? After all, they can't see the points on the battlefield. Guessed an elder. It doesn't seem like it. Why does his gaze look a bit mischievous right now? He couldn't be thinking of some evil plot, right? Li Changfeng had been in contact with Long Chen the most, and he had the greatest understanding of him. Although he didn't manage to understand what Long Chen was thinking, he felt like Long Chen was definitely up to something. There's still 10 more breaths. The kill point difference is just 200,000. 5 breaths. The difference is just 80,000. 3 breaths. The difference is what is Xinian doing? The elders suddenly became enraged. As Long Chen's side had been fighting, their faction had just happened to arrive right beside Xinian's faction. At this moment, Xinian's earth flame suddenly charged toward Long Chen's flame dragon, causing an uproar. Eight point flying star, reverse heaven and earth. Long Chen suddenly let out a shout, and the dragon blood legion instantly moved. The back of the formation became the front, and they rapidly shot back. As for Tang Wan'er, she stopped killing the devil beasts and flew back. This sudden change caught all of them unprepared. This bastard has gone overboard. No wonder Long Chen wanted to kill him, roared one of the elders. The other elders' expressions were all ugly. The last trial had been a survival of the fittest, and it was to choose the elites for the intersect using any means necessary was not necessarily overboard. But this time was different. This was clearly cheating. However, Xinian had the excuse that his earth flame had been provoked by Long Chen's flame dragon and erupted out of his control. This was a nonsense excuse, but there was no way to argue against it. Earth flames were natural enemies, and when an earth flame was provoked, it really might not listen to its master's words. The blood-colored tiger roared and suddenly lit up, enveloping the flame dragon with a bloody light. Although the flame dragon struggled, its body began to shrink. Truly worthy of being ranked 73rd on the earth flame rankings, it knows how to use its core energy to suppress its opponent. He, if you eat what's mine. I'll make you spit it out sooner or later, sneered Xinian as he watched. He was delighted, feeling like he should thank Long Chen. If Long Chen hadn't devoured his two earth flames, he wouldn't have obtained this even more powerful scarlet blood flame. Due to the competition between the law enforcement hall and the elder hall, he was used as a tool, so naturally they had to properly entice him. The law enforcement hall treated him well, spending 3 million points to give him the scarlet blood flame. Although they said they were just lending him the points, that was a lie for appearance sake, that made Hu Gishan and Fan Song incredibly jealous, firming their decision to follow the law enforcement hall, they had so much money that they were incredibly generous, you bastard, Xinian, you really are courting death, roared Guo Ran, this bastard was completely intolerable, the flame dragon was about to be devoured by the blood tiger, and right now, there were still two breaths until the competition was over, sorry, my earth flame isn't listening to my orders. 
Xinyan laughed with a pleased expression. I'm the one who should be saying sorry. Long Chen smiled slightly. Boom. Suddenly, endless flames erupted, engulfing the sky. Chapter 1060 Condover and Over Translator Born to be with a heaven-shaking explosion. Terrifying flames exploded. Space was constantly quivering as countless flames runes dashed back and forth in the air. It was like the sun had exploded. That apocalyptic scene stunned everyone. Fortunately, the two flame beasts were fighting in the air, and the impact to those on the ground wasn't very powerful. If they had been fighting on the ground, it was unknown how many people would have died from that explosion. What? What's going on? Xinian let out a heart-rending roar and vomited a mouthful of blood. The scarlet blood flame was his spirit beast. It was connected to him, and when it exploded, he received a powerful backlash. He felt like his soul was being torn. Xinian had treated this powerful earth flame very importantly. He had sacrificed a great deal of spiritual strength and effort to place a slave mark on it, but now it had suddenly exploded. Within the countless flame runes in the air, three huge flame dragons suddenly appeared, devouring the blood-colored flame runes. Those were the scarlet blood flame's essence. Long Chen, I'll kill you. Xinian's eyes almost tore out of their sockets, and he clenched his teeth so hard they creaked. Although he didn't know what had happened, he knew he had been schemed against by Long Chen. The three flame dragons devoured all the flame runes in the air in just the blink of an eye. Suddenly, everyone's bracelets quivered and they disappeared from the battlefield. When they reappeared, they were once more in the Zhuanshan Dao sect's plaza. Long Chen, hand over your life. Xinian charged at Long Chen like a madman. As a result, he was sent flying by a slap in the face. While Xinian was in the air, Long Chen suddenly grabbed his hair and shoved his face down toward his knee. Bang. Long Chen repeatedly smashed his knee into Xinian's nose. Suddenly, with a ripping sound, Xinian shot back, a huge piece of his scalp staying in Long Chen's hand. Heavens, isn't this exactly what happened last time? All the disciples looked at the miserable Xinian, speechless. They clearly remembered how two months ago, in this very plaza, Long Chen had slapped Xinian, slammed his head into his knee a few times, and then tore off a large piece of his scalp. Xinian had been partially bald for half a month. Medicinal energy had helped him regrow his hair. It was a foot long, but now it was like he had intentionally grown it out to let Long Chen grab it again. Now the same shocking scene played out in front of them again Long Chen. I will definitely kill you, roared Xinian, his eyes scarlet. He looked as if he had gone insane. If you want to fight, let's fight. What are you shouting so loudly for? Don't be so petty. It's just one earth flame an insignificant three million points, to the rich and generous law enforcement hall, it's a drop in the ocean, cool down, and don't worry, I guarantee the law enforcement hall will get you another earth flame, you're the partner they bought, and they invested so much in you, they didn't feel any pain over how much they invested, so why do you have to feel pain, Long Chen gave Xinian some well-meaning advice, in reality, Long Chen had been planning this move for a long time, Back when he had encountered Xinian in Treasure Gem Island, he had sensed a powerful earth flame in his body. He just hadn't known what it was exactly. While he had been resting, he had pondered how to con Xinian once more. He had thought of a kind of true ice ancient pill. That was an attack pill, not to be consumed. It could be considered a defensive pill for alchemists and had the effect of exploding ice. This kind of pill was part of a very neglected branch of alchemy. It didn't have many uses. Although it was a 7th tier medicinal pill, its power wasn't enough to menace C expansion experts. At best, it would be able to kill Xianchen experts, and that would be in a situation where they were caught off guard. That kind of pill was absolutely useless. Those who could refine 7th tier medicinal pills were at least at C expansion. Only people whose heads had turned to mush would bitterly refine the true ice ancient pill to kill Xianchen rookies. But in Long Chen's hands, this pill managed to instantly handle Xinian's terrifying earth flame. The flame dragon that had flown out and fought during this time was nothing more than one of Huo Long's split bodies. It was bait for Xinian. If Xinian hadn't attacked, Long Chen really wouldn't have had any way to handle him. But an idiot like Xinian was easy to bait. Long Chen had first sealed the true ice ancient pill in some special material and hid it within Huo Long's split body's mouth. Before Huo Long bit through its outer layer, it wouldn't explode. When the split body had been attacked by Q Xinian's earth flame, Long Chen had had the flame dragon act as if it was struggling before being devoured. Once it was inside the earth flame's stomach, it activated the pill. As a result, both the split body and the flame tiger exploded. 
Both Huo Long and the Flame Tiger were formed of the purest flames. Although they might not be afraid of ice attacking them from the outside, if such powerful ice exploded inside their bodies, it would be like pouring a bowl of water into boiling oil. And then, there was no then. Huo Long had only lost one of its split bodies, and it would quickly be able to condense a new one. There was basically no damage. A split body for a stronger earth flame's essence. That was tens of thousand times the return. Long Chen felt like flowers were about to bloom in his heart. He had essentially obtained three million points, and he felt incredibly refreshed. In fact, he had a thought that he definitely shouldn't kill Xin Ai and yet, he was the chicken that laid the golden egg. After devouring so much earth flame essence, Huo Long was doing its best to keep it all within the primal chaos space. It felt like it was about to explode from how full it was. Long Chen hastily helped with some spiritual strength to suppress the berserk energy. Bastard, if I don't avenge this enmity, I, Xinian, will swear I'm not human, roared Xinian, clenching his fists. You're just a dog of the law enforcement hall who knows how to speak human words. Let me just say it again. If you want to fight, let's fight. Last time, I was the one who challenged you to a life and death battle. This time, if you really have any gods, you can challenge me as well. I, Long Chen, will definitely accept, said Long Chen. The hostility in the air was like gunpowder. How could Xinian dare to challenge Long Chen now? He had no earth flame and was like a toothless tiger. Challenging Long Chen would be simply courting death. Long Chen, don't go too far. How about I appraise how strong you are? At this time, Fan Song walked over. His tower-like body released such powerful blood key that it felt like he would explode. Everyone's heart shook. Fan Song was a vicious person, tyrannical and powerful. No one dared to go against him. Fan Song was different from Xinian. He was a brute force fighter with basically no weaknesses. There wouldn't be the slightest bit of technique in a fight against him. If it's a life and death battle, I will welcome you at any time. If it's a game for children, I don't have time for such nonsense. Those familiar with me know that my specialty isn't fighting, it's killing. Long Chen stared coldly at Fan Song. Fan Song was very powerful, most likely even stronger than Xinian. But Long Chen felt no fear toward him. He just didn't like senseless battles. Since they had chosen to be enemies with him, then they shouldn't blame him for being vicious. Long Chen had already made his determination. If Fan Song challenged him to a life and death battle, he would definitely go all out to kill him. It just so happened that he needed a rank 5 heavenly Dao fruit. Just as Long Chen had an urge to kill Fan Song, Fan Song narrowed his eyes. He sensed Long Chen's desire to kill him, snorting. He raised his status badge and was just about to drip blood onto it. Everyone, it's time to announce the results of the first competition. Li Changfeng suddenly appeared in the plaza, making it so Fan Song could only put away his badge. He glared at Long Chen before returning to his faction. Everyone returned to their factions and stood properly, staring at Li Changfeng. They all wanted to know the results. Just who had taken first place? First place is the Divine Beast Mansion at 29,370,000 kill points. Second place is the Hegemon Hall at 25,260,000 kill points. Third place is the Heaven Female Alliance at 22 million kill points. Fourth place is the Flame Gate at 16,070,000 kill points. Fifth place is the 10,000 Insect Guild at 15,990,000 kill points. Hearing that last number. The 10,000 Insect Guild's disciples couldn't help but feel that it was regretful. They had just been 80,000 points from moving up a ranking. Then they would have gotten double the rewards. Last place is the Dragonblood Legionate. 15,980,000 kill points, said Li Changfeng. Everyone let out a cold gasp. Although the Dragonblood Legion had taken last place, no one dared to look down on them. It had to be known that they had spent the first four hours drilling their formations. Only then had they truly gone out to get kill points. And in that short time, they almost caught up to the 10,000 insect guild. That was too shocking. And this was a group of the weakest disciples that was known as the weakest faction? My 10,000 insect guild owes you a favor. What no one expected was that the always silent Wang Hen would actually open his mouth to express his gratitude. At first, people were dumbfounded. But they quickly understood his meaning. From the start of the competition to the end. Long Chen hadn't done anything. As for how he had conned Xinian, that didn't count, because that wasn't worth any kill points. So it was equivalent to Long Chen giving the reward to the 10,000 Insect Guild. Don't be so courteous. For this competition, we were just testing the waters. 
we didn't obtain any less than you, so there's no need for favors. Long Chen shook his head. Wang Chen nodded. If you need anything, send me a message. That startled everyone. It seemed that Wang Chen was essentially forming an alliance with Long Chen. This was too sudden. Even Long Chen was stunned. He hadn't expected the usually silent Wang Chen would say such a thing. He smiled to express his acceptance. All right, everyone can scatter. The rewards will be distributed later, said Li Changfeng before disappearing from everyone's sights.